Are you done? Vandalay <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, has always been yes. about helping okay. people. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I really don't fucking care. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude, an upskirt shot. An error has occurred. Please proceed to the checkpoint. Oh. Okay, checkpoint. Where's that? Uh, and, don't worry. Probably oh, I can't deal. skip it? Oh my god. Is this a collectible? Dude, look how slow you move. Oh man, that surgery drained me out. Ah, that is what is it with like Hellblade and now this game, which should have like fast movement? It's fucking slow. Here we go, man. Please collect your belongings. Yeah, time to get out of these clothes. Can I interact? Unskippable cutscenes because of the loading screen. Got it. Nice. All right, man. Waterboy with the five. Sub gamer, what's up, man? Yup, we're playing this shit, man. I mean, everybody who is saying this is like fucking um, Devil May Cry, I can tell you right now it's if not like I'm Devil May Cry right, because the combat is extremely slow to compared to Devil May Cry. I'm sure, that's not supposed to be there. Second, it's powering up my new robot arm. Third, it's making everything sync up with the beat. And I don't care. <laughs> All right, everyone, ready for something wild? Whoa, Chai's here, and his attacks sync up with the music. You all want to see it in action? Let's start with a light attack, a one-beat attack that quickly connects combos. Go ahead, try it out. Try a combo and beat to the music. This will be what perfect timing feels like. Go. One, two, three, go. Uh, one more time. Oh my god, bro. Look at you. Perfect timing on that one. <laughs> oh yeah. Your attacks uh, always land on the beat, but press the attack button exactly on the beat. Why do I need to sit through battle. this shit? Looks like I understand how to press yeah, X four over. fucking times, man. How about delivering some real damage? The heavy attack. This one takes two beats to land, so listen carefully for the beat in the middle. I got this. All right. Now try out a heavy combo in rhythm. This is the kind of timing to aim for. Sure, sure. Not bad for a rookie. <laughs> oh, oh man. Yeah. And the crowd goes wild. Chai, 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 
like chai tea or whatever the fuck. DJ Aftershock with the two for real, for real. Phil Spencer stays dropping straight up heat. Bro, it's like fucking Nick Jr. gaming on Xbox these days. It is kind of unfortunate. Will with the two, have you picked up Bolt Gun? It's honestly very fun. Nah, but I want to. I don't know, bro. Twenty dollars is just a lot of money. You know, that's like I could I could pay off my parents' house with that. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I'm probably gonna pick that shit up. Uh, water boy. Do that. Do I have like a block button? I guess I don't get access to that yet. Bro, I don't know how anybody is comparing this shit to Devil May Cry. This is not even close. There is no fucking way. This is way slower. Well, that was awesome. But I should probably get out of here. Hello! Big Moss of Protection Wreck here. here. And what's this I hear about a DD Bex running wild in Wreck and Soul? Anyone sees this kid? Can we watch Dreamcast Guy's review of the System Shock remake? Sure, we can watch it. You mentioned that last night, right? Can I be oh my god, a hint! Uh, what are you? If you need help, don't hesitate to chat. Holy fuck, man. Why did that sound like Keffles? What am I supposed to do? Platforming. That's the defect? That's suspicious. Could it be? Hey! You looking for me? DJ Aftershock with the two DMC doesn't require knowing music theory to play. Double make Ross is not going up, I can already tell. Try and catch this? Okay, so RB is dodge. I'm to remember that. And now, what am I supposed to do? Exactly. Waterboy with the two, I see you're having fun with the game so oh, far. Convenient. Well, I How mean, to be fair, I'm stuck here? in a stupid fucking tutorial, so we'll see hey, once I get out, but like this is anybody who this was up? comparing this to Devil May Cry Look, has either never played Devil May Cry or they haven't played it in the past decade, because ain't no fucking way. Okay, that's literally what I'm pushing. All right, y'all saw how many fucking times that took to hit, right? I'm not just tripping, right? Man, Project Armstrong turned out to be a real bummer. I want to Why is there like no fucking on distance on the jump? Like you jump straight up and that's it. You can't like, uh, I guess, move your character forward on jumps. It's just straight. You have to like chain it with a double jump, even though you don't need the distance of a double jump. I don't know, man. I was watching you down That's there. That's weird. You seem very good at dodging. Oh. Yeah, that... Uh, yes. All right. Goodbye, Kaffles. I'll just be waiting here if you need me. Like, see, you can't, like, really move forward. Like, watch. This is as far as you can move forward and jump. It's kind of dumb. Hello? Yeah, I'm not a fan of the art style at all, personally. You said you'd help out? Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Good, you made it. Down here. Pete? I think we got something here. Look who's back. Andy's got a friend. They oh, another fucking tutorial. Let's go, man. A beat hit. It's 
a timing based bonus attack at the end of a combo. On the last hit, watch for the timing circle and press any attack button to land it. Talk is cheap. Let's try it out. Well, yeah, let me try it out then. Exhilarating. To land a beat hit, listen to the countdown or look for the two circles overlapping to nail perfect timing. Try a beat hit with your heavy combo. You're on your own with this one. Oh no. This is awesome. Beat hits are good <laughs> for doing strong combos. Glad some of us damage. feel that way. So don't forget to feel that beat. 808, was it? I think we got something going on here. Hey, so offer reconsidered, but I'm gonna borrow your cap for a little bit. What? Why? Hey, you wanted to help, right? Don't worry, it's just till I get out of here. <sighs> you better not run off with her. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, there is more gameplay than Hellblade, but that's not really saying much. That's like saying at least you're not in the Nazi death camp. Aren't so bad after all. Okay. Remind me to ask you later how you did all that. Like I know. Anyway, your turn. I need to get out of. Dude, Whatever the age of You're mascots being a thing in gaming is, is fucking dead, bro. It? Like the so only company that needs a mascot is like Nintendo with Mario it's and Pikachu. That like that's literally, literally says it, man. QA Center on it. PlayStation doesn't even oh, have a fucking yeah. mascot that anymore. One. But with that way out, they're probably expecting you, so... You had me at way out. Let's go. Again, bro, saying a game is better than Redfall is like comparing your fucking shitty vacation Being to vacationing in Auschwitz. It's not really uh, a... The best solution it's not really a high best. standard to fucking That's compare wrong. it to. That's terrible advice. You're wanted. We need to it's like them. comparing your train well, ride to that out. of a one-way trip That's to Auschwitz. That's literally the opposite of outsmarting them. Not really a uh... PlayStation had a mascot. Yeah, I would say back in the PS2 era, it was either Jack and Baxter or Kratos. I would say Kratos is the closest thing they have now. I mean, God of War is their biggest franchise. But, like, the age of like needing a fucking little cartoony mascot is done. Nobody fucking cares anymore. Bro, playing this after watching all that MGS and, uh, or not MGS, MGR and, uh, Devil May Cry footage is kind of, kind of painful. I've been playing Vanquish after the streams each night, and that shit is absolute heat, bro. Vanquish is fucking fire, man. I've really been enjoying replaying that. I found a shortcut. 
Yeah, sure. Whoa, this campus is huge. Is this fucking like 2D city. platforming now? Perks of being the world's leading tech company. Vandalay likes to show off. But I'm looking for what they're hiding. Oh, you like digging up secrets. How about telling me your name? Uh, it took you this long to ask? You can wait a bit longer. I'm shy, by the way. Nobody shy? asked. All right, then. It's kind of ironic that, you know, you're playing, I guess, opposing the world's biggest tech company when Microsoft is the world's biggest tech company. What does that tell you about what the studio thinks about their bosses? Wouldn't fly under my leadership, man. That's all I can say. Zero fucking respect. Apple is in terms of market sh or market cap, but I would argue that Microsoft is bigger in terms of like infrastructure. Apple's mainly a hardware company, whereas Microsoft is more of a uh, software company, I would argue. Like, more of the world runs on Microsoft products than Apple products, if that makes sense. What is the point of this? What the fuck? Is this seriously what we're doing now? Double jump simulator? Hey, cool. What's that? I wouldn't touch that. Well, oh. you're not dead. That's a plus. The opposite, actually. It feels like I'm powered up. 808 is showing me you've got a lot of energy stored up in your arm. How about letting it out? Please don't explode. Power forward! <laughs> get a, the battery powers your battery. Ugh, that is irritating, man. The fucking guitar riff every time you swing your fucking guitar. Like, ugh. I don't like that. Dude, I'm just ready to get the fuck out of these stupid tutorials. Like, it's just a waste of time. Like, I'm not fucking mentally retarded. I understand how a fucking basic-ass game like this works. It's like, you should be able to just skip tutorial. Like, I don't need to sit through all the fucking instructions. Fucking tanky, bro. Not bad at all. Why do I hate Gears Tactics? Because I don't like XCOM style games. They're very boring to me. The only one I semi like is uh, Fire Emblem, but even then, I can only play it for like an hour before I get bored. It's one of those games that I just kind of like pick up and play for like a short burst and then put away. 
just not a fan of the genre, personally. Was I supposed to go up there? Finger bang. Bro, what the fuck? I literally pressed X right as the fucking circle closed. Unless I'm supposed to press something different. There we go. Worked that time. What? Bro, I'm gonna be honest, I'm trying to zone out the music right now. Because it's very annoying. I take it that's not where I was supposed to go. Shit. I hate guitars because of my dad. No, I've just never liked rock music. Uh oh, power's out. The generator. I don't like busted. the sound of electric guitar Any like nine nearby? times out of ten. I just tools? find it, it's like you know the like I sensation you get with like nails on a chalkboard. It's kind of like that. I don't know. That's the best way I can describe it. I just don't like the sound of them. Like, I don't mind acoustic guitar, but, like, the fucking, like, I guess guitar riffs like this. Uh, I guess it's not going to make the noise now, but I don't like that noise. Here, let me see if I hit something. Nope. I guess it's not breakable. But, like, the specific noise that you make when you swing, I don't like that sound. Like that, that... I don't like dubstep. Reminder, sick days must be registered six months before desired I don't days. listen to Elvis. <laughs> uh, I probably have at one point in my life, but not actively, no. Oh, shit. That's sweet, bro. Like, the game encourages you to wait to attack him, but then it's like, oh shit, never mind. Why can't I leave? That was nothing. The most overrated band and artist. Um, I don't really listen to bands, so I don't. I don't fucking know. But overrated artists right now would be Ice Spice, bro. That bitch is trash. Even more combos and beat hits. 
Now's the time to try it out. At the moment, she's easily the most overrated artist. Yo, what the fuck? Bro, what? Oh my god. Thank you. Yeah, that's the thing is like everybody hypes up Ice Spice because she's like uh, supposedly hot, but I'm just like, bro, I do not see it. She is not hot in my opinion. Like she looks like the most unattractive target cashier of all time. I mean, who cares if she has acne, bro? That's not a big deal. Acne is not a big hey, look, fucking like it. problem, in my opinion. Everybody easy. has acne. That's you can't help that. They're clearly expecting you. Well, I guess I shouldn't say everyone. I've never really Nothing had acne, but that's not a big deal. Like having acne doesn't make you ugly. I'm just saying, like in general, she's just not that attractive, man. So, I Siler with the five, I've seen Griffin's playlist. It has, wait, what? NSYNC, Backstreet See, like Boys, and the it's Beach fine. Boys, and Miley Cyrus. That's right. Only the greatest. Introducing the Only the greatest shot. Oh, look, it's uh, Xbox's um, Abby Zilla, bro. Hell. She's a boss bitch, everyone. There you Messing with Rekka's crew, Rekka's production, and worst of all, yeah, Rekka's perfect. No, she's a boss back. bitch, everybody. Your security tried to kill me. Project Armstrong, E U L A. Fine print, should have read it, punk. Defects get recalled. Uh, recalled? You mean killed? Rekka ain't picked the verbs. That's for the mooks in marketing. Anyway, thanks for being dumb enough to just waltz in here. Rekka ain't gotta get her hand. Let's rock, big boy. Oh, damn, I thought he was talking to the boss bitch. I was like, oh, shit, that's base, man. Oh, what the fuck? His hands are extra sensitive. Why can you fall off a boss arena? Weird way to say hit them, but... The fuck? Alright, so don't jump, I guess. Dude, what is it with Destiny and now this game having circular boss arenas you can fall off of? Oh, was I supposed to press B? Oops. Ow. 
All right, I jump. Okay. I guess I just dodge everything. Yep, dodge everything. Easy enough. What arena can you fall off of in Elden Ring, man? I can't think of one. Most of the Elden Ring arenas are inside. I don't know, man. Did we play the same game? I pressed B that time. What? Oh, I guess you had to press X. Okay, well, I thought you could press any attack button when it came to those type of things. That's what the tutorial told me, at least. Come on, buddy. Punch. There you go. You could fall off during Morgoth? Really? Well, I guess I, I fucking cheesed his ass in like fucking 30 seconds, so I don't know. I didn't have that problem. do anything or no other than get him a free hit on me I guess not <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to dodge that, man? Am I supposed to like jump up in this space? Okay, so just jump. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay. I'm not playing this game on beat, bro. Y'all are making the first fucking mistake that I'm actually playing this game trying to keep the beat. I'm not. I already told y'all, I'm trying to tone out the fucking music. The music would be off if I had a choice. 
But, but I'm streaming it end. so it stays on. It'd be just like Doom right now. The music would be turned off. I'm not having a hard time at all right now. But it's nine inch nails? I mean, I'd rather have a nine inch nail in my eardrum than listen to this type of music of my own free will. If I'm keeping it a buck fitty. Dude, the strongest part of Doom is not the fucking shitty ass music, it's the actual gameplay experience. If the game gets harder and harder, I'll just turn on the fucking auto rhythm thing. There's an option in the menu where it automatically keeps the rhythm for you. So if that's the case and you actually have to play with the rhythm, then I'll just turn that feature on and not worry about it. This time, just shut up and follow me. We really got to get out of here. No complaining. At least you can skip the cutscenes in this game, unlike fucking Hellblade, man. So that's already a big scared? improvement over that <sighs> wonderful fucking game. No. Uh, I mean, it is a little dark. Uh, hey, there are no spiders down here, right? Or like robot spiders? Oh, please don't let there be robot spiders. Oh, yeah, bro. I don't like spiders. Relatable. So, 808 said you. I am. I don't, don't eat stuff. Uh, don't care. Bro, why is there a fucking hideout? Like, just fucking go to the, uh... Where's the next mission? <laughs> next stage. Uh, did yeah. you not hear me? I said let's chat before you My bitrate sucks? Oops. Well, I have Sorry. it on... Uh, 12,000 kilobytes per second, which is... I think... Yeah, three times YouTube's recommended rate, so I don't know. It's just YouTube, man. Uh, did you not hear me? Oops. <laughs> oh, I gotta talk to her, guys, because fuck this bitch. God, I fucking hate them. I'm not. Don't I set care. up a shop for you. Here you can learn new attacks. You can use them oh just by Oh my them. fucking god! I understand, you dumb whore. Each attack requires a certain amount of reverb gauge, so make sure you have enough before buying. Oh also, my fucking god! Let me skip the fucking thing. them all. <laughs> Bro, I don't fucking care. Jesus Christ! So I'll just slot in my attack, and I'm good to go. And finally, here are items for some permanent upgrades. Cool. What's this? I've got an idea for something, but let's just say it's let's still in go. Oh, you're doing all this with gears. No one. Don't underestimate cares, me. Bitch. I can do more than you think. All right. Let me see what you got. Yeah, let me see what you got. Oh, these are combos. There's no way I'm memorizing those. Um Let's just buy that. Uh, items, life gauge. Oh shit, I shouldn't have bought the special attack. Oh well, doesn't really matter. Now I know. Okay. All right. Mission report. So this Spectra program is, like I said, top secret, and only the top brass of the company. I have, have zero interest in Why learning so the worried? mechanics of this game, bro. Spectra I just want to get through it and be done. Let's just say someone on the inside gave me a hot tip. I'm sure, only playing this because of the poll. Anyway, I have zero desire to play go this back though. Up to the just like facility. Hellblade. Using my skills. We're doing powers, the path of least we resistance. Break into the production head's office. That's Rekka, and with our luck, she's busy cleaning up your mess at QA and won't be there. We access our computer, steal the files on Spectra, and get out. Cool, cool. 
I wasn't listening, but it sounds quick and easy. Great. While you're away... Nothing about this game is quick. Skip. Died. Try to keep a low profile. Another one. Come on, 808. Let's have some fun. 808, bro. 40. Ooh, more shekels. Let's go, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna spam the fuck out of health upgrades and then I'll be good. I played Hellblade the Man, day before yesterday, so Saturday Vandalay. night. Vandalay boss. Unfortunately, uh, that shit sucks. Roxanne suck, Vandalay? Are you serious, Chai? She built the company from the ground up. Know your history. Jeez, one to yell. Uh, Will with the uh, two. Credit where What's with due. modern games and cat protagonist? Uh, most game developers are in their late 30s or 40s and live alone with their cats. Uh oh. Also, it caters to reviewers as well who have a very similar situation. Oh look, it's Abby Zilla. Ooh, she's so intimidating, guys. I she wouldn't be here. I thought you said this was more fun. Like, this game's movement could definitely be, like, sped up quite a bit.
Bad news for your pride, but you won't make that jump. Any ideas? 808 is feeding me info on your arm. It's magnetic, right? You should be able to hook on. All right, we get it, bitch. Just give me the button. Oh. Whoa, ho, ho. that was awesome. I don't get why people hating on this game is the same old as Crash. I don't like Crash, personally. The only, like, mascot platformer I've ever liked is Spyro. That's about it. Aside from Spyro, I'm not really a fan of the platformer genre in general. I think Mario Odyssey is, like, the only 3D Mario Based game out. I've actually liked. Apparently we're supposed to look out for a, uh, music Hey, Chai, use your magnet on the enemies to close in on them. Got into Mario Sunshine. Try at least find a back route, maybe. Well, uh, looks like a path up through there. Oh my God, bro! I found a comic book. Hell yeah, dude. Comics are badass. Is this the way I'm supposed to go, or should I go the other way to get the weapons? I want to get this. Yes, yeah, so I need to get the other way. I need as many shekels as I can get early on so I can buy my Yeah, I'm not into charity work, man. Oh, never mind. I was like, oh, I can dash through that. Nope. No such luck. Oh, I'd rather play Ratchet and Clank. It doesn't have the stupid rhythm gimmick. Plus, Ratchet and Clank is a third-person shooter, which is a more fun genre for this like type of platforming shit. I don't know. I would say this this game at its heart is a mascot platformer, bro. Like, I wouldn't even define this as hack and slash personally. I would say this is more of a. Uh, Feel our connection right, must be so strong you don't even need my assistance. I'm so happy. Wow, this is pretty good. This will be cool to hang up in the hideout. What are my thoughts on people boycotting Activision? Didn't work last time, won't work this time. Notice how all these fucking dipshits who are acting like Activision was gonna go out of fucking business because of the sexual assault allegations. You know, where's that same energy now? Two years later and nobody gives a fuck.
Bro, I'm trying to dash. What the fuck? Quit running away. Holy shit, man. Just let me fucking kill you. This is my second playthrough. Yo, it was kind of interesting. I was checking the um, achievement stats for this game, and only 7% of people who have started it have actually finished it. So this is not the certified hood classic that a lot of people like to claim it is. Of those 2 million people, only 200,000, or actually 150,000, bothered to beat it. Those stats aren't accurate? Help, okay, bro, the stats from Microsoft so aren't accurate. Got it. Thanks. Nice. I'll trust Twitter or Reddit instead. Okay. So, Peppermint, this Spectrum thingy? What's that about? Spectra. Our informant sent me code implying it's an AI. It's apparently hidden in all Vandalay's Project Armstrong robotic parts. And what makes you so worried? My source said that Vandaling never kept a project under wraps like that before. There's red flags all over this. What? You have me running around on some dark web hunch? I trust my sources. You're sounding even more suspicious than Vandalay. Ugh, Chai, just... You know what? Don't care. I'm out of here after this anyway. Dude, the majority of people that download games in Game Pass probably never fucking finish them. I don't understand why you find that hard to believe. Uh, Zong Xeno with the two, how does it feel? Unironically seems like a banger. So if you like 3D platformers and rhythm games, you'll love this. I do not like either of the two, so it's not for me, which is what I knew from the very first minute I saw it. It's not for me. But if you like 3D platforming and you like, you know, rhythm games, then this is probably right up your alley. Yeah, thanks, uh, but I'm going to take the word of Microsoft's own internal statistics that they report versus oh, conjecture and, like fun. well, I know differently because I don't really know how you know differently, but yeah. I think I'll take Microsoft's official achievement numbers, personally. If anything, Microsoft would inflate their own numbers to make it look like more people have played and beaten this game than actually have. That would be more in their uh, benefit to do versus anything else.
I mean, bro, if you want to see for your own eyes, like, I mean, it's not hard to fucking check. It's really not. You literally go to the achievement section and you look for the part where it says, oh, look, easy listening. Finish the game completing every level on easy difficulty. 1% of people have completed this. Finish the game and complete every level on normal difficulty. 7.5%. Hard difficulty. 2%. Uh, very hard. 0.4%. And Rhythm Master. 0.08%. The highest number of the like different difficulties is fucking 7%. That is it. If you want to, like, have the argument that, okay, maybe people played it on easy and then played it on normal, like, okay, whatever, you can combine these two and it's 8%. Big fucking deal. Or even if you can combine the three, it's 10%, bro. And that's not accounting for people who beat it on easy, then normal, then hard, then whatever. So, yeah, 8 to 10% is realistically what we're talking about. Like, this is literally fucking objective fact we're dealing with. I don't really know how you can be like, oh, well, I know better than Microsoft. Like, okay, man, sure. You've seen everybody that's ever fucking played this game, and you know the completion rate. Why would I check later. Destiny 2 achievements? Destiny 2 is a free to play game, of course most people aren't going to actually finish most stuff. Just like most people in Call of Duty don't complete the campaign. Actually, most people on Call of Duty probably don't even have access to the campaign. They're all the free-to-play Warzone people. The only aspect that this game has is a single player campaign, so looking at campaign stats is like the only thing that matters. Like this game doesn't have PvP, doesn't have fucking raids, doesn't have strikes, doesn't have multiple classes, it literally has one like 8 hour campaign. That's it. Abbyzilla. Can I skip? Nope. Dude, I have one achievement in Modern Warfare 2, and I literally have 800 hours in my game. And that's for beating that dog shit campaign, bro. I have one fucking achievement, and I have over 800 hours in my game. Or just about 800. I don't think I have over yet. No 
No shit, I suck at games, bro. I got better shit to do than play them all day. I've never claimed to be a pro uh, gamer like our boy DSB has. This ain't that type of live stream. You come here for subpar gaming at best. Oh no, dude, I'm almost dead. I keep forgetting to use that ultimate ability. The thing's actually pretty decent at taking out those big guys. Seems to recharge pretty quickly, so I don't really have to worry about preserving it. Uh, Scotty down with the two, should I get the life fall expansion or wait? I mean, if you're interested in Destiny, man, I would just buy it. Like, if you like the gameplay loop of Destiny, then there's not really much else out there that, you know, competes with it. So I would say go for it, personally. Hold up, Jai. Griffin admits he's bad, but says the game is trash. Um, route, I've though. never said this game is trash. I said it's not for you know me. What? I like exciting. This looks like more fun. In my personal opinion, this genre of games and this game in general is trash, but I don't think it's like objectively a bad game. It has its audience. I'm not it. Yeah, I'm allowed to shit on games, bro. When have I ever said that you can't enjoy it, though? Not every game has oh, to be yeah? made for well, every gamer. So it's a W for Xbox? Not in my opinion. This isn't why I buy an Xbox. It's like people who like Pentiment, you know. Sure, it's great for them, but I don't give a fuck. Crash, in my opinion. You know, for people who like visual novels, Pentiment's probably a W, but it's an L in my book. See, like, this type of shit's just boring to me. office now. See? I told you it'll work out. <gasps> what are these? Electric barriers? Come on. Y'all were that sleeping on Vanguard, handy. man. You ready for this, Chad? That game was fun ready as fuck what? multiplayer wise. Y'all were sleeping on that shit, I'm telling you. A girl. Just a bit of temporal displacement. Kinda complicated. Not your lingo, but one of 808's hidden features. You Dude, what type of fucking name is Peppermint? Time. It sounds like a stripper name. Me, Mr. Yeah, Peppermint, because I taste great in your mouth. Like, what the fuck? Doesn't look like you can make this jump. But see that switch? Let me guess. Yep. Me yeah, Vanguard was actually one of the most fun multiplayer Ugh, like gods like in a while, tutorial. especially of the modern era. I definitely prefer the modern warfare games over it, but it was still fun. Okay. Oh shit, I didn't dash. Oh, it still put me up there. Nice.
Yeah, I was like, that's the thing, man. Is like leading up to launch, I was like fully expecting to hate Vanguard, if you guys remember. Does she just like, oh, you have to like physically meme still? This fucking homo. Oh shit, it moved. Okay. Fucking bitch. Can I, uh... What the fuck? Oh my god. I do not like the jumping in this game. At all. Yeah, well, Van nobody's gonna buy Vanguard on Steam, because you already either own it or, like, you know, it's dead now at this point. I haven't been on Vanguard since MW2 came out, because MW2 is better. Oh, shit. I hit fucking RT. No such luck. Uh, Scotty Man with the two, I missed the different pace. Yeah, that's what I really liked about Vanguard, was the pacing modes, man. The pacing modes were a great addition. Like, having 16 people on a team deathmatch map was fucking fire. It was like ground war, but not, like, boring. I guess it's a good way to put it. I don't fucking know. Where's the fucking jump at? Like somebody got an oh, great. My time to shine. I can overload those enemy barriers. More now. fucking immunity phases, you. man. We get it. Of course it did. I was there. I can use her anytime? For what purposes? Uh... Wasn't there a PS2 game somewhere? I don't think so. Although I never played uh, Jet Set Radio or whatever. Was that game like a uh, rhythm game or was it just like super stylized like it? I mean, it looks like Jet Set Radio or whatever the fuck it's called. Mama Luigi with the five. Who do you think got more L's this month? PlayStation over the past month? Definitely Xbox. I mean, I expect most showcases to be dog shit by default anyway, so I wasn't even disappointed. Like, I had zero expectations going in, so it's not like I was like let down or anything. So I fully expected it to be shit, so. No disappointment on my part there, but, like, I don't think anybody was expecting Redfall to be as bad as it was. Like, I never thought it was going to be good, but, like, shit, man, I didn't think it was going to be that bad. This thing again. And then that weak-ass fucking soy cock interview from Phil, like... This hoe, like, uh... 
Okay, she can kill the flying thing, is nice. Uh, Bill Clinton with the two house high fire rush going. It's a lot more like a platformer than I was expecting it to be, which is kind of disappointing, but I mean, that's fine. I don't know. About what I was expecting. Not my type of game. Oh shit, that moved a lot more than I thought it would. Fuck. What does that do? Can I target him? I'm supposed to be able to target him. Damn, I got a lot of upgrade points now. Finally, bitch. Don't care. That's what happens when I see peppermint, guys. I bust my top. Yo, peppermint, you actually want to fucking do something? There you go. Oh, okay, shit, I was like, bro, I'm fucking spamming the shit out of that. Huh? Alright, thank you. It's weird how that seems to only want to work on, like, the second attempt. Ninja Gaiden's not made by Ninja Theory, man. Ninja Theory made Heavenly Sword or Heavenly Blade, whatever it was called on the PS3, DMC Devil May Cry, and Hellblade. Team Ninja is what made Ninja Gaiden. So that's a different studio entirely. Team Ninja made Neo and Ninja Gaiden. Also, that Strangers of Paradise Final Fantasy game, which I got recently. I actually showed up today. Oh, also, Ninja Theory made that shitty fucking Bleeding Edge game that died in like a day. Or actually, probably a matter of hours. A day is probably too generous. <laughs>
I should have kept my uh, Cooper. Damn, it fucking missed. Ah. Oh. so bad at this game. Thanks. At least I'm not terrible, right? Well, this is it. Just play it cool. I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, time to fight Abby Zilla, man. Pretty quiet. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> Abby Zilla. Oh, shit. Good leader knows how to delegate, guys. Nice try, Abby Zillow. Back to normal now. Why can't I use the magnets? You ain't 
gonna ruin this company's rep. Nice scope. Nope. You're going out with the trash. Oh, shit. Worky. Literally, Abby's a bro. Zilla broke my back. Oh shit, I hit the wrong button. Damn it, man. The fucking Abby Zilla. The fucking Abby Zilla special right there. Alright, I'm just gonna stick to my strap, bro. Come on, Peppermint. Oh, shit. I gotta get a little bit. Gotta time that I'm in the window a little bit better. Can't you use the magnets the whole time? Oh shit! How did she hit me when I was fucking above her? Oh well. God, this music is fucking awful. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. 
Dude, this music is fucking cheeks. Bro, what? No fucking way, man. Ain't no way, bro. Bro, what? I'm like literally above her end. Okay. Hitboxes are not just fucking horizontal, they're vertical. That's If I survive this, I should have it. on the two Griffin is a trash gamer. That's right, man. Believe it. <laughs> Moist Wazowski cool. with the fun. There's this channel you'd probably like Great named job, Saturated Dad. Content. He just dropped a video about DSP lying. Mm. About it. Oh, did he actually lie about the tire? I can believe that it actually got stolen, man. He lives in Seattle. That place is a shithole when it comes to crime. But do they have proof for some shit? Looks like we found our AI. This is a screensaver, Jai. Hooray. Not there. Oh, the uh. Hey, uh. What now? So, I don't, I, so, this is what I was working on. They're custom chips to boost some of your abilities. Sounds cool. With a Am few I halfway through the game parts, yet? I can make you passive skills. Oh, this I went ahead and made you one on the house. Hell yeah. Cuts down the time needed to call me in during battle. Hopefully we can get that down to 0% so because... <sighs> anyway, you'll need to equip these for them to take effect. Right now, you don't have many slots to work with, but with some upgrades, you can mix and match skills. I'm 20%? Hell yeah, man. So, bring me back any Armstrong parts you find, would ya? I'll keep an eye out. That's good. I'm going to buy that. All right. Yeah, this is really a great game right. to show off the world's most powerful console, man. All right. Mission report. So according to the file... Bye. 
You get there yet? Ow. Yeah, I think I found it. I probably don't need to tell you this, but don't step in the lava. Oh, really? Give me some credit here. Didn't want to take any chances. Damn it, I wanted to step in the lava. Damn, the crystals don't do anything. We don't look out for any suspicious individuals. Human. Oh, yeah, that's suspicious on the balloon. No need to panic. But if encountered, please run away and contact security. Is she trying to sound as much like a man as possible? Should be your ticket in. Yeah. As long as I don't melt first. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two wise the main character named after T. Probably the same reason you have a cat hey, companion, you. because games journalists are a bunch of lonely cat people that drink tea. That's my guess. You're not part of my crew. Cool, bitch. Quit hitting me, man. Quit touching me, fucking Weibo. Check this out. Yo, Peppermint, you want to actually shoot the fucking enemy with a shield instead of taking the enemies I'm attacking? Gee, thanks. Dumb bitch. Bro, she finally attacks the one fucking enemy I needed her to. Like how it clears your uh, supercharge after every single battle in there. Just be able to keep that. Whoa, dude, that was close. Some explosives set to clear the rock formations. Well, let's clear them. So, come on! Hell yeah, dude. I got a fucking chip. Whatever. So what's everybody's impression of the game thus far? Hold on, let's do a poll. I'm just curious. 
Feel free to answer truthfully. First impressions of Hi-Fi Rush. Great, good, mid, ass. All right, there we go. Yeah, feel free to... I'll take my air conditioning. Thanks, though. Hell yeah, dude. She's a girl after my own heart. Once again, Peppermint is doing everything in Peppermint's power to not attack the one fucking enemy that I need to kill. If this game had fucking like rap music in the background in general, it'd be just as corny in my opinion. I'm just not a fan of rhythm games, honestly. Like unless it's some straight up guitar hero shit where like that's the only focus. But games that like basically limit your ability to play them based off of like fucking, I guess rhythm is really annoying. Like that one game everybody wanted me to play a while back, the metal fucking hell singer or whatever. Usually like, not a chance. I'm talking that. about magma. Communication is important to a working relationship. Well, next time, communicate to me when you're gonna mess up my plans again. Yeah, dude. Hey, man, leave her alone. Safety is our top priority. This volcano is deemed perfectly safe and harmless by the R&D investigation team. I need the shekels, bro. There we go. Come on! Come on! I don't know if I was supposed to do that or what, but... the ranged enemies the tankiest of like all of them that makes no sense
how's the game? It's more platformy than I was anticipating, which is not really a positive thing. Um, I don't really get the comparison between this and Devil May Cry. I think that is a massive exaggeration. Uh, I would say this is more like a traditional 3D platformer. With like the rhythm aspect. Dude, I had a ton of people comparing this game to Devil May Cry. They're like, oh, if you like Devil May Cry, you'll love Hi-Fi Rush. I'm like, not a chance. This game is way slower than Devil May Cry. I mean, the game's not bad for what it is, but it's like, this is not the type of game that Xbox needs. Which I think is the biggest issue people had with it. It's like, you know, in a vacuum, yeah, this game's not a big deal. Like, sure, it's good for what it is. But in the grand scheme of Microsoft's first party problems, like the fact this is the highlight of the entire system is an issue. Bro, this should be like one out of maybe like five games coming out a year from Microsoft with the amount of studios they have. That are like of this quality. That's the other thing too is like, yeah, sure, what it is, it's a quality game. Whatever, but when it's the only quality game Microsoft has had in years, again, that's a big problem too. Terrible, Chai. Just get in there. Well, I'm hoping it's on the short side, man. I don't like when these type of games drag you on. Continue to avoid my email, Sanzo. I'm making this public. No more budget approvals until this defect fiasco is done with. Full stop. You dare interrupt my What the fuck is that over. thing? The gears are turning in my mind with passion. I don't care about passion. I care about profits. Amen, bro. Ah. Spoken like a true money man. Enough! Just have security with their orders. Anti-Semitism is not acceptable, guys. When do they ever? Sorry, this game makes light of it. We know what they're referring to when they say money man. I'm just very disappointed, bro. I 
I expected better. Whoa, dude, I found a secret. Another one? <laughs> Pretty awesome. Who's making all these? Wow, dude, that's so good. Crazy. Lots of shekels from that. Guess a boss is up ahead. Just oh, maybe not. Transferring magma power to lab 44. Access to AI labs restricted until testing completed. Griffin loves this game. Having the time of my life, man. What can I say? Time of my life. I mean, this is about what I was expecting. People seem to think that I don't know what type of games I like anymore, which is very fucking odd to me. Because, like... I had countless people in. telling me, bro, you just I gotta just try it, you'll love it. It's like, bro, I can look at a game and tell if I'm gonna like it. This is oh, not for humble. me. I'm sure your fans are all in Lab 44, so why not head there? It's not hard to tell after playing video games for 20 years of my life which video games I'm interested in or not. Design and prototype constructed to spec. Yawn. Looks like a volunteer has entered the lab. Oh, about time. Test volunteer. <laughs> Please enter the chamber. With haste. Sir, yes, yeah, sir. Come on. Ooh. Nice. I need 50k for that health upgrade, so. Griffin, why don't you want to play System Shock? Uh, I don't even know what it is, man, so I don't even know if I want to play it or not. We're gonna watch uh, Dreamcast Guy's review of it. But I've never, I've like, not really even familiar with the game, so I couldn't tell you if I'm interested to play it or not. Call me in. I can help. No, wait. I got an idea. Oh, great. Hey, it's been a while, but Chai's back with something new. The <laughs> exactly. If you parry exactly at the time of an enemy's attack, you can knock the energy back at him. Stay on beat, and I don't need to run. You said it best. How about we give it a try? Back in the Look tutorial, the boys. Don't worry. He'll tell you how many Let's times he's gonna go. hit you. First, we'll see and hear the timing. Then it's your turn to parry it back. Saga of Sin. Here's how it should go. Now you give it a try. 
bring it on. Oh fuck. Remember to parry during the attack phase after the timing circle appears. My man. Fuck. It's harder from here, so Damn it. All right. Fuck, dude. I was hoping parrying wasn't going to be a thing. Did you just black out? Maybe, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Watch this. Go. You called? Accuracy test initialized. Oh, there's two hits. Need more data. Again. There's two? Bro, what the fuck? Why does it only show one ring, though? Okay, so you just double tap it. Got it. That's not the design. I added it in. Failure was so embarrassing, it self-destructs. <laughs> Try again. You okay? Get the hang of this. this Fuck. Sample size isn't big enough. Oh, this is AIDS, bro. Just let me kill it. Size isn't big enough. My accuracy code is flawless. All right, I thank you. Hey, subject, well done. Your gift basket is in the next room. Sounds like a trap. But what if it really is a gift basket? Whoa, dude, what if it really is a gift basket? <laughs> Fix the image. I want to see who our test subject is. I'm locked down. It's a hack. <gasps> so Elite hacker, bro. Government? Is that you? For once, I'm not hacking anything. She's not a elite hacker? Uh-oh. You mean the girl with the sh half-shaved head isn't the elite hacker? That's crazy. Yep, you run very slow. Please, step into the center of the room for your prize. Whoa. Uh, this subject is an idiot. Thanks. Very perceptive, Sanzo. Those laser drones were Corsica's design, but no one messes with my experiments. You'll be a nice punching bag for my babies. Oh, I got a parry. Let me go. But they can all be paired. Attack on beat, man. I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to push, dude. Like, what the fuck? When am I supposed to push it? Because when he does the little fucking sparkle is when I push it, which is when I push it for the other guy, but I don't know. Please, step into the center of and the then I'm going to have to sit through the fucking pride. dialogue again. Oh, man, they fell for it. <laughs> this subject is an idiot. Like, why are we two hours into the game doing fucking tutorials, man? No one 
It's like, why? You already told me how to parry. I don't fucking care. I'm never going to use it. Next. Thank you. Regular enemies won't fish. the same thing that sounded like how the bad. fuck dude I am so fucking bored this is fucking boring I can't even like pay attention at this point <laughs> bro I'm just like, I'm done. I'm like tapped out, bruh. I just can't even feign interest at this point. It's just... Nice, Jai. There we go. Let's fucking go, man. I swear to God, if it makes me do another one, I'm just gonna fucking stop. This is fucking so AIDS. Dude, if we have to do another one of these, I may just drop this fucking game. Honestly, I'm not doing fucking tutorials simulator. Maybe we should find this hacker and give them your job. Uh, like, we're two fucking a hours in at this point. I do not need to be doing shitty ass little tutorials for mechanics I will never use. What is going on here? For the first time, I'm as confused as you. Wow, no clue. <laughs> go back there and get all this fucking uh let me go get those fucking uh money bags or whatever the fuck they're called gears or why would it not let me double jump up there but when I added the dash it would oh cool more health Can he actually play the guitar? Let's see. Um, Come on, Your turn. I'm pressing all the buttons. I don't think so. Yeah. No such luck. Okay. 
Vampire Survivor game looks like it should have come out on the fucking NES. I ain't playing that trash. Isn't it like one of the most basic like fucking twin stick shooters too? Like it's not even like a complex game at all. You literally just walk around. Yeah, that game looks like it could run on the NES, man. It's like fucking eight bit. No thanks. That's a pass for me. Yeah, that's what I thought. You just walk around. Like, it looks boring as hell, man. I don't know. It looks like a mobile game. Listen for parry timing. Nice schizophrenia with a five. The game looks fine, just a bit too slow. The music sounds like knockoff. Huns and roses, and the graphics are lame. Six out of ten for me. I mean, it, it's just a 3D platformer. Like that's the thing is, I don't know. Like this is not my type of game. I knew this wasn't my type of game when I first saw it. So in that regard, it's not surprising. The comparison people have made to Devil May Cry is the part I do not fucking understand. This game is nothing like Devil May Cry. Just because you swing a melee object does not make it Devil May Cry. That's the most surprising part to me. Is like people will like actually were comparing this shit to Devil May Cry, which makes no fucking sense. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Vampire Survivor is on the phone, right? It's like a literal mobile game. Let's see, Galaxy Fur with the two, you should play Mortal Kombat 1. Eh, probably not. And this game has the same graphics as Jet Set Radio. Yeah, that was the game, I guess, people were talking about earlier. That was similar back on, like, the PS2 or whatever. 
And the 1999 Dreamcast could run this so game. This oh, yeah, definitely. Pesky test subject. I mean, this type of art style doesn't require anything intensive graphically. Where'd that bike go? Oh, I don't have my thing. Oh, my God. See you, bitch. Yeah, but I mean, saying this game is better than Hellblade is like, again, saying like, my vacation's better than a trip to Auschwitz, bro, like, anything's better than that. That Hellblade game is fucking miserable. I do not understand how anyone likes that trash. What do I need to do? Do I need to like stand on him so he hits himself? I guess I just needed to hit him enough times. Chai, we need a different approach. Yeah. How about Thank God, man. Gotta pat it out a little bit longer. Gotta stretch that shit out just a little bit more. Previously on Hi-Fi Rush. How about Skip. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean Skip. What the Jack? But yeah, I, 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 something big is going down, Max. Skip. We've got Hey Chai. Uh before Skip. Alright, what does this bitch have for me to buy? Might wanna Wait, what? Just kidding. Let me know. Wait, is that not what you click the bot? <laughs> Can I not buy upgrades anymore? Let's set what to uh, you go. Well, uh, Seriously? Uh, hey there, Chai. Wait, uh, 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 oh, now I buy shit from him, so I, I guess. Thinking, why not add a bit more punch to those chips? If you get what I'm saying. With some extra supplies, I can make them more effective. Oh, my. You can. High level chip needs more energy, so each level will take up another slot. Fuck, dude. Do I have to buy this upgrade? I literally have enough for the extra health tank. I don't fucking want this shit. Wow. This is actually pretty cool and useful. I like literally have just enough. Peppermint's got a lot on her plate. All right. I'll take over all these upgrades for now. When you have materials, come and see me. You better not fucking make me buy that shit. Um, items. I want the extra health. That's way more OP than like any of the other shit that you can get. Health kick. 
That's probably pretty good. I gotta make a I'm ready. mean shit, but I don't want to get up. Mission report. Our goal. Get Skip. back. Anybody know how far I am through the game yet? Am I making like decent progress or no? Five percent. Okay, go straight through there. Dude, this sucks. Whoa. Oh, dude. Oh, I'm like updated. already ready for this and game to be over. Should be good to go. Try calling in macaron. Eight hours. Fuck. Oh, ready for this? Macaron, sock him. Come on, one, macaron. One, two, one. There we go. Not bad, macaron. Oh, macaron, like macaroni, haha, uh -huh. because he tastes so good. You have to be like right on that shit. Okay, we back at that uh giant drill thing. We can see that. Now just so I guess, climb it. I guess macaroon here can fucking uh bust the green shield. And that's his whole thing. That boulder out of the way for you. Imagine it's one of Zanzo's security. Spectra, but Zonzo locked out all employees. <gasps> How could he? From what I could tell, only Kale and the other department heads. Yes, they're all in on this. But wait, Corsica, the head of security, seems to have limited permission, though. Why wouldn't the head of security have full access? Because they don't want him to know what's the. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my god, that was so mysterious. Fuck. 
Bruh. Oh shit, it put me on the right side that time. <laughs> shit. Yeah, the jumping just feels really weird in this game. I don't like it. There's like no actual forward momentum in the jump itself. You have to like double jump to initiate any sort of like forward momentum. And then after that too, it's like, unless you dash, you're not really getting anywhere. Like I have to dash over this and of double jump, which is really dumb. Like you should be able to easily jump over that. Especially with the verticality that you get. with the 10 yep we can check it out man we can check it out appreciate it let me go get this battery Now I can punch him, guys. Alright. Let me give it a shot. Call me in and I'll shadow those shields for you. Let's go. go. Alright, here I go. Get him back around the old one too. Oh, you have to, like, literally be up against him for it to work? Probably say so. Focus, everyone. Spectral Lab More is like close. Pussy fist round. Should be in the next room. It's locked. No Z shielding either. Pull a chai. Find another way <sighs> in. I'll be right back. Cinnamon is Long trying to give me a personality room. test. AR Labs. Close enough, right? Dude, honestly, if Redfall didn't have 17 gamer score achievements, I'd rather play that than this. But, dude, I'm not playing a game with 17 gamer score achievements. Sorry. I ain't fucking up my perfect five ending. Oh, wait, now, Peppermint. But yeah, I would much rather be playing Redfall than this. Hot-headed? Dude, I'd rather be playing Gollum than this. Chai, you can vouch for me, right? I'm staying out of this. I feel like there's a lot of enjoyment to be had out of tr playing like truly awful games. Cause it's like you're not expecting it, there's no expectation to do well, it's just like you're there to just laugh at how fucking bad it is. Like we got fucking neck beards in this channel. Oh my god bro, you suck at this game. It's like yeah. Oh no, I suck at fucking hi-fi rush. Like at least with Gollum there wouldn't be the fucking dorks in the chat being like, Oh my god bro, you fucking suck at this game. It's like, okay, dude, cool. At least my parents love me. Hi, 
Yeah, I think you can fail him, uh, Colin. Wait a second. Chai, where are you? AI was locked, so I went in the AR room. Uh -oh. Can I skip the cutscene? Look who the cat dragged in! Oh, is this the boss fight? This cat's with me. This is bad. You somehow got past my powerful toys without letting me watch. Unforgivable. But luckily, my AR labs are perfect for recreating missed opportunities. Like this. Mandalay alternate reality recreation technology. Right. Patent approved. So real, it hurts. Wow. It's like I'm really there. I know. Awesome, right? <laughs> oh, uh, now, show me what I missed. Just a little extra. No problem, guys. Borderlands 3 villains we like. Yeah. Holy fuck, dude. Tepperman actually attacked the right fucking enemy this time? That's crazy. I'm actually shocked. Monster. Right. It looks like Zonzo's burning through his budget. Zonzo's immature creative vision prevents him from seeing the realities of development. We can use this. With no budget, our development pipeline comes to a full stop. Chai, goad him into throwing something lavish at you. Oh shit. Check this. Dude, now that thing doesn't even stay down for like ten seconds. Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Bro, that shit's like fucking faster than me during sex. Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, guys, I found another piece of art. I wonder if I can find all of them. Dude, the jump is really bad in this game. On our like, all jokes aside, the jumping mechanics are really bad. Like, look at the distance you travel from one jump. It's like nothing. It's like three feet. There's like no actual like forward momentum from a jump in this game.
Oh, I guess this is the boss fight now. Ready for round two. If you got something new for me. You did so well in our training exercises. Let's see if we can fix it up a bit. This again? Not impressed? Well, I just might have to throw in some surprises. Send him in! He's not optimized! He'll slow down the simulation! I don't care what it costs! Get him running! That's a huge dent! Wreck that budget, Shy! I can't believe this was my little You got this, man! Go on, this shit's supposed to be fun? You just have to wait for the guy to recharge over and over again so you can actually attack. Alright, let's wrap this mission up so I can get done for tonight. Oh my god, I pressed it twice. him a lesson balancing creativity with realistic goals is the mark of a good leader clearly zanzo needs guidance he never understood roxanne's vision for vandalin but along with kale's demand as long as he got what he wanted I'm glad i don't work here my job my life is ruining the company's legacy well let's say we're taking this guy down zanzo's lab is right behind him to stay all right get ready for this Nothing hidden over there. Interesting choice. Here we go. Got a roll of my sleeves.
need to get to that other room. What the fuck? Why did I fall? Bro, you can't land on a fucking beam. Oh my god, dude. Why? Who made that fucking decision? Like, look at that shit. You can't fucking land on that. tell if there's a ceiling or the shitty fucking graphics. Maybe I can get up here? No. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get that. That's a fucking dumbass design. All staff are on this, but the cost. Are you sure? Oh my god! I know what I want, and I don't want to hear about costs. Just turn it on. Is this epic enough for you? Chai, this is amazing. Look at that budget drain. Still want a gift basket? You bet I do. Dude, this is it's fucking cheese. I'm unironically bored at this point. Sight! basket! Also, oh, I thought you would be bigger. What? Oh, oh, I'll show you. Let's see you earn that basket. Stay in a chai. Let's see Sonzo fly too close to the sun. I was not in that. Oh my god, my frame rate is dead right now, bro. What the fuck? Why? Bro, rip my frame rate. Holy shit. No wonder why this game needs to run on the world's most powerful console. It's not fucking optimized.
I think it's those volcano effects that are just like destroying my fucking frame rate right now. Every dude's dream to make his eruptions bigger. Or is it eruptions? Who knows, man? was a lie. No! The gift basket! Uh, guys? And now, I take you down! Did you want us to drop the platform? Was that not implied? Okay, hold on. Oh, shit. Bro, look at my frame rate. Holy shit. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you can't press circle. Uh, not circle B, whatever the fuck. Is this Wee Todd done? Mr. Chai has decimated his budget. The lens chai. All right, finally, man. Mind if I join in? Let's finish this. Sort of chai. Bill Clinton with the five, nearly finished my Halo 5 second playthrough since launch. Design. Honestly, I liked it at launch, and I do now. Don't get the hate for its campaign. Well, you don't get to play as Master Chief, bro. You play as a different self-insert character instead. It makes a big difference. No, but yeah, I don't get the hate either. I didn't mind the Dude, it feels like I've been playing this game for 10 hours. It's only been 2 hours and 40 minutes. Like, I'm not even, like, trying to be ironic. Okay. Zanzo would have. Here it is. Oh, okay. thank no, that, the car there. Oh. So I guess there wasn't the even a boss stops. fight for that. What now? I assume Mr. Jai did not think past this. Point. But yeah, I don't know, man. I didn't mind the Halo 5 the campaign hideout. at all. We're but then again, I'm not a huge Halo they campaign fan, keys. so. No time to argue. I'll distract him. Go down, I go up. Get back in at least two pieces. I didn't know you cared. I want that defect. Get him. Haha, <laughs> she secretly loves us, guys. She's gonna be our girlfriend. Okay, why are none of my inputs actually working? She was real. She would totally have sex with me. playing Hellblade 2 most likely. That shit was so fucking bad. I Siler, we'll check it out, man. Really appreciate it. May need some help here. Bro, we are still on this shitty fucking lava mission. Please, can we be done? I'm worried. Bro, what the f What the fuck killed me? God, bro. I'm worried like there's not going to be a fucking checkpoint. Dude, are you fucking shitting me? This is where you run away, Mr. Chai. May need some help here. You got this, man. No problem, guys. Fucking do it, you dumb retard. What the fuck, bro? What was that fucking retard doing? I literally was spamming the fuck out of RT. What a dumb fucking bitch. He's literally standing there doing fucking nothing. I think he even adjusted his fucking glasses, bruh. May need some help here. Like, watch. Well, there you go, dude. You actually fucking missed it this time. Congratulations. 
Oh, thank God for the lead hacker, bro. So fucking bored with this shit. Uh, oh my god. Stop with the fucking padding. Please, man. I thought we were done with this shitty fucking lava level already. But no, it just keeps fucking going. It never fucking ends, man. It never fucking ends. Star move, Chai. Yeah, fuck off. Finally, I'm done. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, this is making me very happy that I pre ordered uh, Final Fantasy 16. Where's the big guy? Oh, there he is, bro. He's getting swole. Shop. What's the best Final Fantasy 16 to st or fuck best Final Fantasy game to start with? It doesn't matter. All of them are independent. As long as you don't start with something like 13-2 or a 10-2, you're fine. You can start with literally anyone. They are all independent of each other. Yeah, this this game is literally as a. Uh, this game is literally about as good as I thought it would be, which is not very. All right. Give me a second, guys. I got to go take a mean piss real quick. I'll be back. Give me like one minute.
All right, I'm back. How's everybody doing? No, I just had to take a piss, man. He didn't unmute the mic? Huh? What do you mean I didn't unmute the mic? I left the room, bro. <laughs> what do you mean? That's the reason why I wasn't talking. I wanted to go piss. <laughs> Wow, that was a fucking quick piss. Thanks, man. I pride myself on my speed. You heard it? Nice. I mean, it's like probably 20 feet away. Apollo was talking. Little fucker trying to steal my spotlight. Fuck him. It's always got to be about him, bro. All right, why is my YouTube tab not working? Give me a second here. New incognito tab. Let's take it off of flashbang mode. Dark theme. How much gamer score did I get from that? Bro, I swear, if I only got like 100 or something, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to be pissed. Let's see. <laughs> Bro, literally 105. All right, I guess I can't be pissed, right? Oh, my God. So, it looks like... So I think I have one, two, three, four more bosses, and then I'm done with the game. Right? Dude, you can see how many people dropped this game. So like 30% of people only got to fucking Abbyzilla, and then after that, only 20% got to where I got to, and by the end of the game, only 7% actually bothered to fucking finish it. Like, bruh. I'm playing on normal, so... I will lower it if I actually start to struggle, but I have it on normal for now. Alright, so let's do the recommended videos real quick. Fuck, man. Dude, that game made me want to fall asleep. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck is this shit? Oh my god. Hell yeah. The average x Lamborghini is what I crap in. What the fuck? I can get 20 kills in 60 <laughs> seconds if I rush. My toilet takes 20 turds in 60 seconds when I flush. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Dog, what? <laughs> That's actually fucking weak. Oh. Lambo Regini Gaming Toilets. Expect the unexpected. <laughs> What the fuck? Hold on, I want to rewatch that. Damn, Gaming bro, look passion. at that. He's like the Death Star. Crap in. The Xbox toilet. I can get 20 kills in 60 seconds if I rush. My toilet takes 20 turds in 60 seconds when I flush. Bars. I wish I was looking that fly, man. Shit. I ain't dripped out like that, guys. <laughs> Lambo Regini Gaming Toilets. That's fucking weird. Expect man. the unexpected. <laughs> this was definitely unexpected, man. I was not expecting that when I clicked on the link. All right, let's see. So, I, Tyler, let's do yours. I think I've seen this. At least this clip. Probably not the video, but I think I've seen this clip. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> Bruh. Dude, I've seen, I've seen this, not this bad, but I've seen something like this happen before. So, like, there's a parking garage near where I park to, like, go into, like, the downtown area. And they have this really low, like, entry bar. And I've seen, like, a lifted truck drive through and it hits the, like, bar that hangs down. And it, like, completely shattered their windshield, like, right next to me. No, you're not allowed to sue for that because you can see the fucking sign that says 11-8. You're supposed to know how tall your truck is. So, yeah, that's just unlucky, man. That's 100% his fault. Bro, that's rough. Oski Waska with the two. I didn't know my cousin was featured in this video. Damn, bro. He swagged out. Ooh. Well, it looks like it's all right. I hope you can sit up. Whoa. <laughs> Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn, bro. She got some milkers. Ooh, feet. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, this reminds... Alright, so I started playing that Descenders game that I was playing a different night, and that shit's actually fire. That reminded me of that. Oh, I've seen this, yeah. Why people would willingly do this, I don't know. Those things are fucking mean. That's actually what you're supposed to do, so that's not really a fail. <laughs> Bruh. When the Uber Eats driver shows up to Amberlyn Reed's house. Oh, God. God, I hate when that happens to me, man. After a long day, I just want to come home in my recliner and then I tip over. Fuck. Huh? Dude, fuck motorcycles. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. In the fucking Jordan slot. Oh, shit. Bruh. Yo, that's pretty sweet. That gimbal or whatever the fuck? Dude, 
Dude, that shit happened to me as a kid with a fucking blue crab. It, like, pinched through the fucking, like, skin of my thumb. Like, I had a straight-up, like, piercing through my fucking thumb from the crab. That shit sucked. Uh-oh, Jasper Kitty. It's not bath time. Go. <laughs> oh, my glasses. At least he landed it, bro. That's not too bad. It would have been worse if he... Oh, shit. At least it didn't go on her fucking laptop. Nah, I don't have a scar. I don't really have many scars, honestly. Like, I don't know what it is, but, like, my body, like, gets rid of scars after a while. I only have, like, two scars, and they're from, like, really fucked up, like, I guess things that happen. Ooh, fuck. Dumbass. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, shit. Bruh. So I'm just vibing, right? And this can. God! <laughs> Ew. Check this out, it's like the coolest option ever. Oh, <laughs> Don't waste the pizza. <laughs> Luckily, it didn't touch the ground, so it should be fine. Oh. <laughs> that fucking blow. Uh oh, gamer rage. It's not go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit, man. Oh my god. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. What is he filming? I can't afford this shit. Oh, I've seen this. It doesn't break, luckily. What a fucking dipshit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, why? Oh, dude. What the fuck? Okay. Gross. I can see his white. Oh, that was a mistake. That was such a mistake. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Do that. Nasty. Tissue. Dude, why the fuck would any girl ever look like that shit? Like, why would you ever want to look that fucking way? I don't understand. It's just weird, man. Oski Waski with the 10. I have a scar on my middle finger from a crab that took a large chunk of skin out. Fucking sucked, but it wasn't that bad. I'm kind of surprised it left a scar. It's just a funny story. Yeah, the only, like, scar I have is, like, when I was little on my left knee... I, like, was running, and I, like, tripped over one of those, like, fucking concrete, I guess, things that are, like, at the end of each parking spot. Like, I was, like, young, like, I think four or five at the time. And, like, I was, like, 
I guess running, looking behind me and I wasn't looking. So I like tripped and like scraped the shit out of my knee on one of those. And it like removed all the fucking skin on top of my kneecap. No, it wasn't the curb. It's like this little like fucking little speed bump looking thingy. So yeah, I like fell and scraped all the skin off of my kneecap. So I have like a small scar from there because I was really young. You know, most of the skin wasn't there anyway. So just a small spot there. And then on my left leg, when I was in college, I bought like this really cheap fucking camping chair from Walmart because um, the fucking dorm chair I had was really uncomfortable. So I was like, oh shit, I'll just buy like a fucking camping chair. And well, yeah, it was dog shit. So I sat down in it and like the whole fucking thing just broke immediately. And on the way down, like, I guess my leg rubbed on, like, a rough part of my desk, and it, like, took a massive chunk of flesh, like, off of the front of my shin. So now I have, like, this circular indent on the fucking front of my uh, shin, which was pretty nasty. Like, for a month, it took basically to fill back in, kind of. So, yeah, it was pretty bad. So that's like the only, I guess, major two scars that I have. But aside from that, I have a scar from where Apollo scratched the shit out of my arm and like ripped it open, but that's not really visible. And then I also have a scar, I think, yeah, on the side. Yeah, my right rib cage from where a sparkler flew down like my shirt when I was a kid and it like caught my shirt on fire and like burned me. So yeah, like I was, I guess running around with like my friends or whatever as a kid, I don't really remember it to be honest. And like, I guess a chunk of the sparkler like flew onto my shirt or down in my shirt. That's what my mom said is like went in my shirt, caught my shirt on fire and it like burnt the side of me right there. So I have like a small little burn scar there, but that's about it. Aside from that, not really anything crazy. But yeah, I got like a big fucking like circular indent on the front of my shin from the fucking chair, like scratching the shit out. Like that was such a freak thing too. Like it was just junk, man. Because I looked up the reviews afterwards and had like a one point, like three or something. They go like, yeah, this is the biggest piece of crap I ever bought. It broke immediately. It's like, oh, great. I should have checked. But yeah, money well spent. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two. I have a burn on my wrist I got in 2009. Still see it. Yeah, my most recent scar is the one from Apollo when he was a puppy and he had like really fucking sharp, um, I guess, nails because he had just gotten them cut. And like he literally ripped my fucking like between my bicep and my tricep right above my um, uh, right elbow. There's like a big red gash where he like really like literally just gouged the fucking skin open with his fucking nail. Like it was pretty nasty. But yeah, that's my most recent scar. But aside from that, I don't really have any. Nothing crazy. Not like a fucking, you know, stab wound <laughs> or some shit like that. Two, one. Oh god. Why? Dude, they've gotta be fucking drunk out of their mind. What the fuck was the point of that? <laughs> Rogue wave! Rogue wave! It's always the white Mustangs. No, 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 no,
What's wrong? What did he think was gonna fucking happen, man? Why would you swing over water if you don't want to get fucking wet? Ooh. Damn, bruh. He did him dirty. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh my god. I saw it with the 10. Uh, simply ended immediately if it's copyright, which it shouldn't be. I recommended this channel a while ago and it doesn't make sense. Yeah, we can check it out, man. Alright, so let's do your next one. Uh, 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 uh. Copy, paste, go. What the fuck? Age restricted based on community guidelines. Fuck off, YouTube. Those are a bunch of fruits. Bro, what the fuck? Why is it so laggy? Hold on. What the fuck is wrong with it? I can't afford this shit! Is it just this video? Why is this Chrome tab so fucking laggy, bro? All right, all of a sudden it started working. I don't know. There we go. We're not going back. We're not going back. I don't know. I think it has something to do with like the fact that I have that YouTube stream like manager open. I think that's what like fucks up the like resources on Chrome's end is the fact that I'm like monitoring my stream and then using a bunch of tabs as well. I don't fucking get it. Yeah, the gameplay in this game was fucking solid, man. It's just a shame what they did with the story and pacing. Vesnia with the five, I'm missing my left middle finger because I got thrown out of a window and I have a small limp due to getting run over. Yo, what the fuck? You got thrown out of a window and then run Oh, Damn, man. Jesus, never stops me from working out. There you go. Talk about perseverance. Like, what the fuck, man? Most people can't even say one of those things. Like, the fuck? I guess he had information that could lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton, bro. 
First, he got thrown out of a third story window because he tripped over his computer cable. And then, you know, accidentally wandered into a fucking highway. Yeah, I met a guy who uh, had like three of his fingers ripped off from a fishing net. Like the fishing net he was pulling in got stuck in like the fucking, um, I guess, what is that shit called? The motor, like the little fan thingy. And it like quickly wrapped around his fingers and like ripped them right off. The glowies are after you? Uh-oh. Yeah, the propeller. There you go. I couldn't fucking think of that word. Did he get them back? No, he like had little nubs where fingers should be, but he was still like a boatsman and worked on the water still. Still fishing and shit. So, didn't let himself get stopped. Like shit, bro. I didn't see it. No, I didn't see it happen. It happened like years before I met the guy. Damn, why does it look so easy to kill people in this person's gameplay? Like, whenever I was killing motherfuckers in Last of Us 2, it was taking like five or six shots. So you got this like on ultra journalist mode or something? I agree, man. It should be like this. I saw it with the two. The gore in this game should be stand. I agree, man. 100%. Like, this is the type of shit you should focus on when it comes to gameplay. Not forced open worlds. Like, realistic fucking real-time damage to character models I think is way more impactful to the gaming experience than, like, boring-ass fucking open worlds and things like that. Max Payne did a really fucking good job with this type of stuff, too. Yeah, this looks way gorier than when I played it. I'm wondering, like, what the fuck's going on here? I don't remember it being this gory. I have The Last of Us Part 2 still. Maybe I should either, either revisit it, but donate, I don't remember get it looking the fuck out. like this. JB, oh my god. Amberlyn Reed, obese problems. I know you miss watching our girl. Bro, she's all yours, man. I would never assume that she's anyone but yours. Vendetta with the two. How much you want to bet Last of Us 2 launches perfect? Wait, you mean on PC? Yeah, I don't think they're going to repeat the same mistake, hopefully, and reuse that shitty fucking studio. Uh, what was it? Iron Galaxy, I think. A pepper spray with the six months? Shit. Not gonna lie, this makes me want to play Last of Us 2 now. Yeah, this shit looks cool, man. I just don't remember it being this easy. Honestly. Like, I just remember having to dump ammo into people. Yeah, I think Max Payne 3 is on sale on Xbox right now. If you guys have never played it. Great fucking game.
If you guys have never played Max Payne 3, you are missing out. I saw that with the 5, the PS5 version added 60 FPS, and yes, this is likely on easy. I love this game. You can go full Rambo on easy. Yeah, I'm wondering what difficulty I played it on, because I could have swore I put this shit on easy, but maybe not. Maybe I was actually trying hard back in the day. Never fucking know. Alright, let's see if this is a uh, copyright or not. Oh, wait, I can go back to a uh, normal tab. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. Oh, my God, bro. I love her hair. She looks so quirky and unique. I'm the last oh, God. That dude's like nice. Oh no, okay. Be calm, Derek. Be calm. Dude, it's always the skinny chick out with her fat friend. I'm t I'm sorry. Oh God. I'm <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bro, Jesus. he's like dipping out. Please. <sighs> of course, the dudes are gonna fucking love. Oh, I buttered my biscuit. Either, either <laughs> you subscribe, donate. Dude, donate I am out. so fucking sick of seeing these stupid fucking t-shirts and hoodies. I don't know what the fuck this shit is, but I see like every fucking teenage to like young, I would say to mid-twenties girl wearing this fucking hoodie or t-shirt and I have no idea what the fuck it is. It's like Thrasher magazine or some shit. Like I guarantee you none of these bitches read fucking magazines. Like who the fuck actually reads magazines? JBT with the 10 also watch Amberlynn read making excuses for not lo Oh my god, bro. Hope I made your night better Olive Garden. Sucks like wet dick in a fucking Olive Garden parking lot. That's how my night's going. And Ashu Negi with the one month. Appreciate it, man. Hey, man, today is my birthday. Can you wish me? Yep. Happy birthday to you, man. Hope you uh, had a good one and did some fun shit. But happy birthday to you, my guy. Bro, why is he sitting down? The fuck? Oh, <laughs> oh not right now. Oh, God. <laughs> Bro, is he sitting down to get closer to it? Like the fuck? 
the audio didn't work on this scene, so I'm currently going to be dubbing it over for you guys. Oh my gosh, you see that cute guy coming up the escalator? Oh my god, he is so cute. Ooh, wait, what's he doing? Oh my goodness, did you, did he just, did, did you see that? Oh my god, he's so funny though. Yeah, he's pretty funny. Shit, man. I'm getting the uh, warning. It is copyrighted. So they have this registered as like a fucking TV show. So I am unable to watch further. Sorry about that, man. It's giving me the stupid fucking copyright warning. So that means they're going to pull the stream down. Because we've already watched like three minutes of it, so... It'll definitely be coming soon. I wasn't actually watching for it. Alright, so next up, we got JBT, man, and his wonderful lady. Because he likes them big and he likes them chunky. Long. I didn't know it was that long. Yeah, I saw he's trying to help me get some sleep by taking the stream down. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'd be scared to be in the same room. That TV's gonna fall. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that works. I don't know. I don't have to do it anymore. Even when I was in Virginia, I could do it. You don't have to believe hard enough. What? Ew, is she in the same state as me? That's nasty. There's a chance I can encounter this thing babe? in real life. Nasty, bro. Yes, I am sitting down. My back hurts really bad. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, Virginia's not batting very strong, guys. We got fucking Chris Chan, Ethan Ralph, Amberlyn Reed. Who else? There's a couple others, but it's like, bro. Virginia's not batting very strong when it comes to content creators. Then you got me as well, too, so... Fat fucking hell. Oski Woski with the two. How much to get off the stream? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, none. Because the thing is, even if I did end the stream, I wouldn't be able to fall asleep anytime soon. Did you notice me? <laughs> How could he not? <laughs> did you did, uh, you? did you notice me? No, you're so <laughs> hidden. I didn't even see you at all. <laughs> How rude. Um. I can't afford this shit. Weaponized schizophrenia with the two. I got Florida man checkmate Griffin. I don't know, man. You don't have Chris Chan. <laughs> What would you do if your wife gained weight? Uh, tell her hit the gym. I don't fucking know. I'm actually about to get dressed. <clears throat> How much weight are we talking? 10 pounds or um, 100? The plan for today state. What? Just watching you. <laughs> do you like the camera? I do. What do you mean? It is. It's very nice. My tummy hurts because we haven't ate. <laughs> yeah. Are you Man, my stomach hurts. Bruh. I should get water. <laughs> that choker's say. hanging on for dear life. Zero calories. Can we see that?
Bruh. <laughs> So I've already eaten a pretty decent amount of food, and I'm so full. Becky got soft tacos. She gets them all the time. They good. I ended up getting diet soda. But yeah, I love this place, and that rice is so freaking delicious. Yum. Okay. Is the bread good? <laughs> Dainty butter bite. They put me forever punching that pork. There's no way to pork. The other pack. Oh, shit. Bar Louie. Those are in my area. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know how big of a chain that is, but those are definitely in my fucking area. It's like vanilla. I've seen those before. I really can't fit in those chairs. That's cute. I got that big butt. <laughs> When I'm in a room with a bunch of small chairs, my go-to is the doctor's chair. So your blood pressure was perfect. No, nah, luckily I don't go out to eat, guys, so I don't think I'll encounter her. Because, you know, the only places realistically she's going to be is either in the fucking hospital or at a McDonald's or something. Good to hear. They have a thing on the wall with a bunch of inhalers, so maybe you have asthma. So, I know I'm not wearing a seatbelt, which I'm going to get a lot of shit for, but it don't fit me. Alright, so, when are they going to come over here with the menu? Oh. What? Yo, I was pretty hype, actually, tonight. The grocery store had, like, I guess, steaks for Memorial Day. So, I got, like, I think, yeah, it was 16 quarter, or no, three quarter ounce ribeyes for, like, $6 a piece. It was a straight up steal, bro. It was like $8 a pound for ribeyes, so I got four four-packs, and each of them are like three-fourths of a pound a piece. So, yeah, I got like a bunch of steaks that I stuck in my freezer now, so I'm going to be eating good for a while. But yeah, $6 for a fucking ribeye, man. Like, that shit's crazy. Like a 12-ounce ribeye for $6? <laughs> like, damn, man. That's a fucking steal. Listen, y'all. Listen, Why come here. here. What happened? I don't care if it's Did that creepy old guy? What? What? Yes. Creepy <laughs> old guy. Dude. He's there every night. He can't, is he? How often mm. do you guys come here? <laughs> yeah. 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 This is our fourth time coming here. Oh, okay. So. He's a Tonight. <laughs> Bruh. So let's see. JBT, your other video from your favorite uh, big woman. I love to vlog. Vlogging is freaking awesome. Vlogging is so fun to show just random things throughout my day. Um, but it's hard. I, I have to say it's hard to constantly flip out a camera, film, and then at the end of the night having to upload it all. It just gets hard and I've noticed that it's taken away some time. She looks um, skinny as fuck right here compared to, to now. For tonight. And not only that, but it's stressing me out so bad that it's causing me to not lose weight as fast as I'd want to or as much as I want to because I am such an emotional eater that <laughs> the minute something upsets me, the first thing I think of is chocolate or pasta or rice or just something that I'm not supposed to have. And most of the time, I'm not strong enough to say no. So, I just got done weighing myself. Nah, man, my double chin's gone even when I lay down now. We're Gucci now. Yeah, it's pretty wild, honestly, man. Like, it's pretty crazy. Like, I mean, at certain times, I'm like, damn, bro, I really did lose a lot of fucking weight, which is a big W. So, I'm at 175 now, guys. I weighed myself today at the gym, so easy clap. We're just gonna get straight to that because I was really nervous because most of you will know that you lose weight while you're sleeping. That definitely helps with the weight loss process. I only slept two and a half hours. And on top of that- Yeah, I don't think not sleeping is your issue with losing weight. I had McDonald's for one of my meals and I wasn't wanting to have any like fast food like that for at least 
the first 30 days and on day two I had fast food I still counted my calories but still it's a lot of sodium and then it's just how much weight are you trying to lose Griffin uh it doesn't really matter like the particular weight I'm trying to get abs so I've got like a little bit of stomach fat left that I can feel that I'm trying to lose but aside from that I'm pretty much good so it's not like a particular, I guess, weight that I'm trying to get down to. It's more of like trying to build a uh, ideal physique, if that makes sense. It's like, I didn't get much sleep, so I was scared. But I weighed in at 562.8, so I literally didn't lose anything and didn't gain anything. So that makes me feel like if I wouldn't have had McDonald's and if I would have slept longer, I would have been down at least something. So it is the end of the night, and there's something that I wanted to talk to you guys about. I've been trying to like get up more and do things and be productive like I told you I've been doing like the whole list thing before I go to bed and then the next day I try to do everything on that list but I noticed that when I'm not sitting in bed with my legs elevated if I'm just like sitting in chairs or sitting in the car or just being up and moving more my feet swell really bad and my legs swell and every time that happens it makes me gain weight. I just want to know if there is anyone else out there that that happens to and if it does can you like maybe message me on Instagram. I know this happens to a lot of people who are my size and even people who are smaller but I just want to know like do you have any home remedies that you did because <laughs> there's just not much I can do like I need to get up more and I need to do things, but I just want to know what can prevent the swelling. I was told not eating salty fucking sugary foods. Pretty easy. Uh, Dim boom of the fire. Why'd you get so fat in the first place? Didn't you know about eating healthy? Well, it's not even that. It's just like the main issue I had is I would just eat when I got bored. Like I'm somebody who can't like fucking, I guess, focus on one thing. If that makes sense. So it's like if I was watching TV, I would get a snack or if I got bored, I would like order some fucking Uber Eats or some shit like that or just it was dumb stuff like that. It was like I would just like get a snack or eat something when I got bored. And once I identified that, it was very easy. Like that's why it was so easy for me to drop weight in like the first six months. Like I think, I mean, yeah, pretty much in the first six months, I would say I dropped like six waist sizes almost immediately. So it was just mainly like identifying the issue, which was when I got bored, I would grab something to eat. And when I stopped doing that, it was like, ah, oh, not hard. And then like on top of that, eating healthy just kind of sped it up. But I mean, if I would have just stopped eating when I got bored, then it probably would have happened anyway. The health push is less to do with weight loss and more just being healthy in general. But yeah, I would just eat shit because I got bored, honestly. That and it would help me stay up for like a couple days at a time. That's the other thing too. Is it kept me awake. Like eating constantly keeps you awake and alert and gives you energy. That after my hysterectomy, the estrogen that I do take, I would gain weight. And it would be really hard for me to lose weight because I'd always feel super hungry. My hormones were going to be super crazy. And it was true to the word. I did gain weight. I'm not gonna fully blame the medicine because obviously I choose what goes into my mouth. The medicine doesn't. But I will say being on estrogen has truly and honestly made it almost virtually impossible for me to say no to certain foods. And I'm just, I always- Yeah, I don't think it's the fucking estrogen. I think it's the fact that you have zero fucking self-control. I saw her with the 20, we can check it out, man. Really appreciate it. I always feel hungry. It's like the weirdest thing. So it's super windy out here, so if you can't hear me. It's because you associate food with joy. I apologize ahead of time. I can't afford <laughs> it. I can't afford oh, it. My throat hurts so bad. Michael. Well, essentially with the two, I get full a lot faster too compared to before. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, man. It's like, for me at least, it wasn't that I was like necessarily enjoying what I was eating even. It's just like I got bored. So I'll be like, oh, better grab a snack or oh, I'll go pick up something to eat or whatever. It's like once I kind of identify that, it's like I really just don't give a fuck about food in general anymore. It's really not even that big a deal. 
Like, I don't even get a craving for, like, junk food or sweets or soda or breads or any of that type of shit anymore. Like, I mainly will just eat, like, once or twice a day just because I get hungry and I don't really care what it is. Goal was to walk for three minutes. I couldn't make it past ten. My back was hurting. I couldn't breathe. And now my throat hurts. I know I used to have really bad asthma when I was in sixth grade. I don't know if it's back, but holy crap. So. <coughs> nope, I've never eaten walk. breakfast in my life, typically. See? <laughs> The only time I would ever order breakfast food is when I used to stay up all night streaming. And then that would be like my dinner, basically. I would order from like IHOP or something like that. Sorry, I have to catch like my breath. For about 20 minutes now. And my asthma is definitely back because I used to have exercise induced asthma. It was really bad when I was in Florida. I did see someone about it. and Not Florida, sorry. Virginia, Crystal and I would do these... Um, exercises uh where i would like straight up like dance slash exercise what did i get at ihop um my favorite thing was the i forget what it's called it was like a cheese steak om om like omelet or something I f maybe the southwest omelet i don't fucking remember which one it was but i love ihop's omelets those things are fucking fire man those are great IHOP has really good omelets because they put a uh, pancake mix in with the eggs, so it makes it really fluffy. For over an hour. <sighs> Sorry, I just got done like that. And the like, cheesecake an pancakes are really good. So too. we would do that for like over an hour, and this would happen. And then, um, so I did see someone about it. Like Crystal's parents took me, and they paid for it. Like I'm very grateful. And it's exercise induced asthma, but I don't have an inhaler. And I don't know why it's coming back right now because, like, in January, I was. Because you're 500 outside. fucking pounds. We would go to the gym and um, we would also do workouts in the den, and this never happened. I don't know if it's the mixture of also allergies, and it's just like. I think if you slept for more hours, you'd see better improve. Oh, dude, I would see better improvements in every aspect of my life. I'd be more alert. I probably would have lost a blunt, like a lot more weight a lot faster. My muscle mass would build faster. No, 100%. I would 100 like there's no denying if I actually slept like a proper amount each night, I'd be in a much better spot, but hey, it is what it is. Like super windy outside. <laughs> it's scary though. <sighs> Cuz like in 6th grade, I think it was the worst when I ever had asthma. Like, it was really bad. I had, like, constant... I constantly had to get inhaler. JBT, you would never imagine seeing her at any gym because she would never show up. I would wake up with, with asthma attacks. Like, just literally sleeping, I'd wake up with asthma attacks. And it just sucks because, like, also my back was hurting really bad. And I just... I really wanted to work out for 30 minutes every day and now i just feel like defeated me and becky just had a very very long talk i was just like crying to her and then she started crying it was just like this whole thing and i was just like telling her just like about how horrible i've been feeling with my weight and like how <sighs> a lot of people always tell me becky is an enabler and that's just like hard for me to wrap my head around and I don't know I just kind of was saying how I just wish like people in my real life cared more about helping me and I know it's no one's job to help me with my yeah if you hang out around fat fucks you're never gonna not be a fat fuck you need to hang out around people who eat healthy and don't give you the option to eat like shit well, with the five, I used to eat three big meals a day when I was big. Now I eat like a Chipotle bowl and I'm good for the entire day. I'm going to get home gym going. That's the thing, bro, that's crazy is like most people don't even need 2,000 calories a day. Like for most people who don't have like a very active lifestyle, you maybe only need like 1,500 calories a day, if even that. And what most people order for their Chipotle bowls is, like, over a 1,000 calories. So it's, like, by the time you, like, eat that and then, like, some snacks and maybe a couple drinks or some shit like that, you're good. But, yeah, no, like, I literally eat, like, a Chipotle bowl and I'm, like, fucking stuffed now.
So, I mean, I eat like, I mean, yesterday all I had was a can of black beans with like some seasoning, which is like zero calories. So that was like only 400 calories. I heated up like a big thing of green beans, which was only like 150. And then I drank four scoops of protein powder. So like that was all I had yesterday and I was like fucking full, bro. Like, I don't know. Like, I just don't really need to eat a lot anymore. And I feel fine. Like, I can work out. I mean, I walk my dog for two hours a day, and then I go and work out for an hour or two every night. Like, I'm fine on energy and shit. So, you really don't need to eat that much. My weight and what I put in my mouth besides my own. But I want people to be like, Amberlynn, I want you to get better. I want you to get help. And I started bawling my eyes out when I literally said like, I just feel like no one in my real life cares about that besides people on YouTube. Like, there are so many supporters and I love you guys so much. And I just don't feel like you guys focus so much on my weight. Instead you guys focus on the fact that I'm just, you know, another person and I do have struggles and you guys don't make it like a big, huge deal that I am actual mess like look at me but there are people who come on my channel relentlessly every single day and they're just like fat 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 this bad fat, fat, fat. like fat 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 it's frustrating it's not things i want to hear but fat, fat, the fat, truth fat, 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 fat. 562.6 so that means i'm <laughs> up 0.2 from yesterday which she's up 0.2 from yesterday good job i mean she just hasn't taken a shit probably dropped 10 pounds Weaponized schizophrenia with the two. I find the act of eating tedious. I skip meals often. Yeah, I wouldn't even say it's that. It's like more so that I've removed the like option to like eat out and order food. Like the act of actually having to fix food is what deters me from wanting to eat a lot too as well. Cause like that's the thing is like when I would get bored, I'd be like, oh, I might as well watch TV and get a snack or some shit like that. And it's like, no. Now that that's not even really in my fucking mind of things to do, it's like I don't even miss it. I silo with the five people's bodies are different, I guess. I go off three to four hours of sleep since I was a kid, and I eat one to two times a day. Somehow I'm still healthy. Yeah, I mean, you technically you're not like functioning at your prime with under six hours of sleep. I think six is like the minimum they say is like what you actually need to be at your full capacity. But yeah, a lot of people don't sleep that long and they do just fine. You're just not at like your optimal performance, quote unquote. Which I am totally fine with because I only got six hours of sleep, a little less than six hours. I fell asleep thing. about 1 a.m. and I woke up at 6. 6:30 a.m. So as you can tell, my sleeping so much. Dude, my biggest problem is staying asleep. Like even when I can sleep in, it's like, bro, I always wake up like multiple fucking times. It's irritating. It's better. I'm not sleeping half of the day away, but by getting such little sleep and also waking up a bit swollen again and weighing myself a good like four or five hours before I usually would, being up 0.2 for me is a victory. So I'm totally fine with that. Like, doing these 100 days of weighing in, my weight is going to fluctuate. It's just going to happen. But I feel like if I focus a little bit more on everything that goes into my mouth, it won't fluctuate as much. Um. So, yeah, I didn't get much sleep. And I weighed myself hours, hours earlier than I usually No, it's not the fact that, like, <laughs> the fact is I don't have enough time to sleep. Because, like, I have to wake up at, like, 7 tomorrow. So, if I went to bed right now, I'd only have 5 hours, basically. Spore Hacker with the 2, she's a point two away from a heart attack. Yup. I'm surprised she hasn't fucking had one already, man, in all honesty. I don't know how old she is, but she's, like, mid-30s. I cannot believe she hasn't had a fucking heart attack. We do. Um, I just need to get on a better like program. So when there's times where I program schedule, see it's a lack of sleep. I need to get myself on better schedule. So when there's times when I do have to wake up early, the scale won't. Griffin, I think you need a girlfriend. Well, duh, man. Don't right. we all? Yeah, like today I basically slept into like three. 
which is really depressing because so it's like I your have, whole day disappears like basically. Four pounds, so I'm not even up a pound, but I know it's because. But yeah, on the weekends is when I like so recharge. I guess you can say. I didn't get as much sleep and. Weaponized schizophrenia like, with a two. I pulled an all nighter last night and work. Yeah, I do that I'm quite okay often. With that because I'm still down. <laughs> <laughs> not very proud of it, but sometimes days. it's because I'm staying up playing um, Mass Effect or some shit, and I'm like, I'm okay bro, I do not like, want to go to sleep. Fine. Like, when I was playing the uh, Mass Effect 2 ending, I stayed up all night and finished that up. All right, let me copy this. Oh, fuck, man. Dude, I don't understand why YouTube makes you sign in to watch age-restricted videos. It's so fucking fruity. I'm a gaming addict. That's right, man. Now, I need to get some more sleep at some point, but the thing is, is I'm still young, quote-unquote, so... Might as well grind yeah. out in my 20s. Just letting you know you guys are fucking camping faggots. Agreed, man. I had to get on my fucking speakers to tell you guys that. It's pretty fucking embarrassing how much you guys are camping faggots. You guys don't want to say anything else? Camping fucking faggots? You guys are talking up a fucking storm, huh? Is anyone there? Well, I'm here. Fucking your asses up. You guys got any fucking thing else to say? I'm a camping faggot. That's why I'm winning on the I gotta fuck. Look at you! Look at you in the fucking goddamn bushes! Enemy UAV. You fucking run around, bitch! Counter UAV standing by. Well, who won two games ago? UAV bitch? standing by. It doesn't matter. UAV how fucking high I am. I'm fucking prestiged. Like three times, bitch. Well, the fuck can see how high you are, motherfucker. UAV standing by. Repeat. Fucking bitch with your fucking YouTube. Bitch. I hated this fucking map. Fucking deal. I found it and what I caved it and I did. It's like, hey, like, hey mom, I played with my dick today. Nobody cares. It's not a feat. Anyone can do that. You find someone's back and search it. Wow, you wait from the dude, spawn and you kill them out of the fuck you want. What do you fucking do? Dude, you and 923 you talk shit like a loser. I thought you just won. Yeah. You're talking shit like a little bitch. Call a monkey. <laughs> Dude, you're hilarious. You're the one talking shit. You're such a fag. Hey, I'm better than more than half your fucking team. Look at where I'm at. I'm above you. Shut you your mouth. You went 23. <laughs> you like getting raped? Is that what you're talking about? Because I tell you, oh, wow. I got your fucking back right now. He can't open your mouth and suck it, motherfucker. You just shit. chill the fuck out shit. and we'll beat you. <laughs> you watch, motherfucker. You beat us by like wow. two seconds. Two wow. fucking wow. seconds and you think you're hot wow. shit. You think you're fucking hot shit. Wow. A whole clan and you wow. beat us by two seconds. Wow. What do you fucking do? <laughs> now I'm gonna cry, wow. motherfucker. Fucking porn ass mommy. It's a freaking cave. Get that Wait, hold on. What was that dude's gamer tag? I want to see if he still has it. Resist impulse. Wow. Fucking porn ass mommy. I just want to see if he's still like. It's a freaking cave. Get that into your head. My God. He was like that obsessed with Modern Warfare 2. He's garbage. Offline, man. Rip. Any games I already have Black Ops. Yeah, Last games he played were Sorry, Trials yeah. HD, Hexic HD, Bio State Bio of Decay, Bio. and Modern Warfare 2. You this, Damn, Bio. bro. You probably had to have your mom go with you and he retired at a good time. How old are you? Like eight? Nine? There's no way you bought this game on your own. Hey, bro, how smart is your dick? One, two. So what I want. How the fuck do you want to know the size of my dick, you faggot? 
At least he went out a legend, man. Why do you want to know if I have my dick, you fucking homo? I saw there with a five dog. I love how people got or get mad and say anything in games back then. I used to do this too. I'm so old now. Yeah, dude, it's like so much fun back then. You didn't have to worry about getting banned for being racist or toxic. It's like people just weren't fucking pussies. Oh, I fucking loved Cory, man. Cory was a great map. This was my go-to ACR map. The best thing is, is when you used to get the voice messages on 360 of some fucking angry dude, like just fucking screaming his ass off at you. That high pitched fucking tone. You literally sound like one of those little girls that you probably talk to all the time, too. Are the girls that you talk to fucking have the same false tone in their life? Look, and I talk to her like freaking hotter than your mom. Shut up. Do they sound like you or no? Do they sound like you or no? No, 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 yeah, Your mentality is so yeah. fucking stupid, you're so young. So you no, return man. to that, that fucking goofy ass head of yours with no brain. Do you, do you, you have mashed potatoes for brains? I bet that kid's just pushing around in your head. How much is your brain pushing around in your stupid ass little um, The child predator oh, missile. I'm probably smarter than you. Hell yeah, man. Fucking roasted. <laughs> Based. Bro, I miss when kill streaks used to fucking stack, man. That shit was great. Oh my god! It doesn't matter if you shit a freaking hundred degrees. Hey guys, the N word has never been a part of my vocabulary. I'll have you know. Yeah, I'm from the Bronx. I don't know about him, but I'm from the Bronx. What's wrong with the Bronx? What's wrong with the Bronx? What's wrong with the Bronx? What happened? Get the fuck out of the game, bitch. See, there you go. You know, you're a bitch. You always tell me, you're a real bitch, you know that? Oh, uh, nah, yo, chill, yo, 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 my nigga, yo, bro, yo, fuck yo. up, son. Yeah, 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 I 
<laughs> Bro, why is he so pressed about the fucking bronze? No, you a dumbass nigga for saying where you live. You a dumbass nigga for saying where the fuck you live. The fucking earth. The I earth have the the map. Map. Yes, you everything in life. I have the map. You are a fail. Listen to that abortion. shitty fucking mic That's volume, how you man. The you PS3 are. is awful. You're a failure at everything. You can't shut the fuck up. You can't do anything right. You're a disappointment to your family. You should fucking die. You should commit suicide. Yeah. Fuck you, hey, die already. Hey, are you done yet? Hey, you done no, yet? No, I'm not fucking done yet. I told you to shut the fuck up, and you still haven't managed to do that. So I have to fucking keep going on a fucking tyrant about fucking how stupid and useless you are. You fucking hey. piece of shit. You are fucking god awful. Hey, are you on your period? If, yeah, that's why you're acting like you're on your period. If God you fucking existed, yeah. he would fucking destroy yeah. the earth. <laughs> He would fucking, he would kill all of humanity if he knew that you fucking existed. It's a good thing you're flying under God's radar, you piece of shit. You need to just shut your fucking mouth and never say a fucking word ever again in order to keep flying under God's radar. <laughs> hey, you done yet? No, I'm not done yet because th uh, once again, you started speaking <laughs> again. So now I have to remind you how fucking stupid and useless. Bar, I'm eating you. Shut your fucking mouth! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Why can't you fucking understand? Do you? I'm pretty sure you understand English because you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. What the fuck is your problem? Shut up! <laughs> nobody wants to hear anything that comes out of your fucking mouth. Absolutely nobody. I saw there with the five wow, for current yeah, MW2. Yeah. I already got a few wow. warning messages for trash talking. I know it's fucking yeah, shit. You guys man. It sucks. Yeah, better be a mongrel going out and fucking robbing people all the time. I, I do, I, I fucker, and I will rape the shit out of you. I will oh. rape you. I will rape your butthole. I will, oh. I will fucking... I will tongue punch your fart box. Oh shit, let's go, man. Tongue punch your fart box. That's a rare saying. That's like the only other person I've heard say that in quite some fucking time. <laughs> I've always said that shit, bro. Damn, it's nice to meet someone who uh, has a similar choice in phrases. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm a different Fortnite skin. I'm a styles. What? I tried to try and go to. What the fuck? No, tongue punch your fart box, meaning he's going to eat your ass, bro. He's going to punch your fart box with his tongue, a.k.a. stick his tongue in your asshole. That's what it means to tongue punch a fart box. <laughs> but yeah, that's what that means. Oh, wait, shit. Fuck, I lost the other thing. Is the oh shit man twenty six minutes? Hold on. DSP's wife had a flat tire, and I tell you what, I tell you this is the reason by this is the reason I'm saying this. Cat had a flat tire, and the reason I'm saying she had a flat tire is because if you look at the picture, she's not in a park. Like she's literally just coasted into whatever 
wherever like the parking lot of her car was in. She didn't park her car like like say like this is the parking spot. Oh park, park shit! Like this with like a parking spot line going like that. If we completely ignore the fact that Jordy Yo. doesn't know what the word perpendicular is, or means, or- Is Wings gonna become a DSP detractor now? Let's fucking hope, man. Or how they use it in a sentence. He makes a very interesting point about this whole dark side film. Nah, I'm key. The only way I'd eat ass is for the right person. Other than that, hell no. Nah. Parking tire fiasco that has happened in the past week. If you aren't up to speed, We'll get you there. Phil will explain it. But even Wingo is coming out here and giving his own opinions on things. Which is a bit odd because Wings typically never really commented on people that often. He would sort of shy away from a lot of that stuff. He and really now I would. guess he's he's garnered that confidence. He's he's really climbed that mountain. Regardless of what Wings 007 is trying to do and still trying to tear him down. Wings, we'll see how successful he can be in the long run, but this video is not about Wings, it's about DSP, and we're gonna discuss whether or not this stolen tire situation type deal is valid. Would you rather eat ass or get your ass eaten? Do I get to pick whose ass I eat? Because personally, I don't think there's any scenario where I'd want anything touching my ass bro like honestly other than toilet paper to wipe it and whether or not i think the 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 moral truth obviously somebody with a a much more important opinion about this topic than anybody else that's been involved what i think about this and where i think this might go so let's let's listen to to good old snort boy himself and discuss this topic Oh my god. You just, you know, you just couldn't make it up, but I wish I was. Oh. 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 Man. Oh. oh, Cooper, I don't know how I'm going to make this video. <laughs> I mean, there's something satisfactory about seeing somebody either click to start filming or reach for their camera to click a button or something where it's like they have one Who's cooper different... oh shit if you don't understand that reference i need to show you cooper i have no idea how i'm gonna record this video dude All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna try to make this as short and sweet as possible. I don't wanna take up too much of your time. <laughs> but first and foremost, I do wanna say that I love you guys. You guys seriously mean the world to me. You have for the past six years that I've been on YouTube, and you honestly have changed. T. Martin's a fucking OG, bro. He's like loaded, absolutely fucking loaded. What happened to him? Oh, he makes bank, bro. He has like his uh, Let's Play channel that he does. Like, he just does fucking Let's Play content now and makes bank uploading random fucking videos. Like, look at this shit. 80K views, 300K, 40K, 30K, 200K, 50K. Like, he just makes bank, like, playing random video games. But he has, like, a fuck ton of investment properties. That's where he makes all of his money is he bought real estate. But, yeah, see, he's got, like, a channel for his dog... Which probably gets a fuck ton of views. Yeah. I mean, the dude's making money. He's got his vlogging channel. He just doesn't make Call of Duty videos anymore. That's it. But he's still very active on YouTube. But he has a massive real estate portfolio. And that's how he makes all of his fucking money. Which is really fucking respectable, man. So he just does like a bunch of content. They get like free vacations from cruise lines. You know, free video games. And then pockets that money and invest it into real estate. Like, dude's living his best life, man. Honestly, I don't really even think T. Martin did anything wrong with the whole CSGO lotto thing. I think a lot of people were just hating on a man winning. Personality, the second before they turn on the video versus afterwards. It's just like... 
I used to watch T Martin a lot back in the day, man. Entire stuff. For uh, Call of I'm Duty news. I'm gonna make that point later on about how he can't tell stories, but like, there's no reason for you to be. Oh man, it's not like you got shot, <laughs> or you were beat up on a uh, you know coming back from Snorties R Us, the the pizza store. You know, it. It's not like something that severe happened. Yeah, something sh- shitty happened, but like, oh, dude, I, I would love know. to follow a similar route to Team Martin. Still seeming like you have a completely normal attitude is just preposterous. It's also like if he, if we could tell he was like crying or something, some emotion prior, you know, it might be more convincing. But Phil doesn't care. He's trying to suckle some money out of you. That's all he wants. Because I could do that this month because I should have a little bit of surplus. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that surplus money and I'm going to just let it sit for a bit. Because you never know when something could happen. You never know when something could come up. That I only have one house so for. far. Right? Well, I mean, technically, uh, like, <laughs> not to flex or anything, guys, but in my storage unit, I probably have another house worth of uh, Pokemon cards and sealed video games. Oh. But this means you should put that towards a new gaming PC, and you should put this towards this. And I was like, no. No, no, no. Absolutely not. No. What we're going to do is we're going to wait. So he starts off his stream with Ari begging, you know, and he, he'll claim that that's I actually not need to go to my storage unit. This. All my uh, Zelda Collector's Editions have arrived, so I've reboxed those, and they're ready to go uh, get dropped off. Speeches. But... His little pay piggy that he accidentally doxxed about a week or two ago has been giving him hundreds of dollars every night that he's streaming. So he's, he's you know, he's accrued a couple grand in money that I'm sure he's going to spend on Uber Eats and, you know, useless junk to put in the background of his videos. You know, that's probably what he's going he's gonna to move towards. But instead of viewing this whole pay pig situation as like a positive like oh thank god that jinx really came through and gave me all this extra money now i can afford to have these emergency situations like what does he think it's like for a normal person out there you know the majority of people don't have an emergency fund to pay for most people don't make ten thousand dollars a month playing video games most people make like what is it three thousand dollars a month like the average income for a 30 year old man is like thirty thousand dollars which is fucking crazy bro y'all need to like learn if y'all are in that boat please 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 learn a skill that you could market yourself you should not be 30 years old making that little money like it is so easy to make more than that like, I made over triple that right out of college. Like, do yourself a favor and learn a marketable skill that companies will pay you for. Like, it is the best decision you will ever make. For things like this, right? Phil spends thousands of dollars a month on mobile games <laughs> and begs for money constantly on his stream and has in theory should have a surplus of money as he said to pay off for emergency things like this yeah blows that this came up so quickly afterwards kind of convenient if you ask me but it's i saw there with the two ever thought about streaming on rumble i probably should in all honesty i've heard it's actually really good over there i should try that out at some point it should be a good thing like okay well maybe you know, i'll just go different... live on here one night and just like spam the rumble link in the chat and be like all right everybody move over to that money if that happens to but i'd be interested in trying it class person or below in society it happens all vesnio the two are there any marketable skills you would adv- oh yeah man definitely anything computer related uh, data analysis data security cyber security it um, programming, software engineer, computer science, any of that you're looking at easily over 100k a year depending on where you work. And you don't even have to get a degree for that type of stuff. You just need certifications which can only take a couple of months if you like, you know, grind it out. Um, I mean, focused business degrees, so something like finance, 
um, accounting, business information systems, things like that are good. I mean, any sort of engineering degree is like worth its weight in gold. But yeah, those are the three areas I'd stay in. Anything computer related, anything like focused business wise, like accounting, finance, and like business information technology or systems. I wouldn't go into like marketing management or any of that crap. And then engineering. Those three, if you're looking for a degree or certifications, are the best ones to get. But you could also do something like learning a trade. Like plumbers and electricians make six figures a year easily. So you could get into HVAC repair. You could get into welding. You could get into like a lot of different stuff. And it's not even like school. You can go to like a trade program and like apprentice and shit like that. And then you could become like a welder and make like 80K a year right after you get certified. So trade jobs are always in high demand and pay a lot more than people think. Like it was funny. One time a plumber came to like um, my parents' place when I was younger and he's like, yeah, it's really funny. A lot of people look down on me, but I'm just sitting here thinking like, yeah, I'm making more than you motherfuckers, most likely. He's like, most people look down on plumbers, but in reality, I'm making over 200K a year working for myself. And I go to people's houses that are probably worth that much alone. And it's like, bruh. It's true, though. Like, you make bank doing that type of stuff. Anything that people don't want to do, you can make a lot of money. Uh, I sell it with the five. Apparently copyright isn't a big problem over there. My bad about... No worries, man. It's all good. No harm in trying. I mean, worst case is the stream goes down for a couple minutes and then it comes back up. So it's not a huge, huge deal at all. No worries. But trade jobs are always a solid choice. Anything technology-based, I mean, is in super high demand. Focused business and then engineering. Those are what I would say. Would you be a plumber? Um, if I, all right, let me say this. If I had a guaranteed path where it's like, if I dropped everything, learned how to be a plumber and I was guaranteed to make 200 K a year right off the jump. Yes. But it'd be kind of weird for me to transition from being a consultant to like being a plumber. But like, let's say I lost my job and was unable to get another one. Yeah, I would consider doing like electrical work or plumbing and HVAC repair and that type of shit. 100%. Because I like the scalability of the business as well too. Like you can hire a bunch of people to work under you and take a small commission from their work, but you manage their jobs and therefore you make a fuck ton of money and you'd never even have to work. I sell over the five. Yep, I'm leaving UPS for electrician. You make 90K easy starting off. Physical labor is the key. Always pick a job no one wants and have. And I have no degree. Yeah, exactly, man. Most people don't want to do electrical or plumbing work or HVAC repair, or welding, and that type of shit. And you can make a lot of money. Even construction workers to a certain degree. Depending on what you do, you can make decent money. Like, it's pretty good. All the time. And... Yeah, people might bitch and moan about it, but they're not going to cry and call foul. They're going to pull their pants up and say, all right, we have to work around this. Phil will never be able to understand that because he's a 40-year-old. And I, Siler, the thing is, too, is once you like start building up, I guess, a clientele base, you could always go do your own fucking thing you know, build up an even larger customer base and reputation. And then you could basically hire people to work underneath you and pay for like their equipment and like truck or whatever. And then they give you like a 20 to 30% cut of all the jobs they work. And that way you're making money from the people working underneath you. So there's also that option too. You can scale it pretty quickly. Degenerate loser on the internet who does nothing useful with his life and has no aspirations for himself. So no wonder he's going to continuously beg and blame everything on everybody else because he's pathetic. No, you Look don't need a lot of money to pay people, I'm key, because if it's gig-based, like if they... So basically the way to look at it is you have like an electrical or plumbing business, and it's like you get contacted to come do it like a job, and it's a $20,000 job. You would send one of your like plumbers or electricians out to go do that job 
the total pay would be 20000 You get a 30% cut, and you would get $6,000 from it, and they would keep the rest of the 14000 So that's kind of the way you can scale like plumbing and electrical businesses pretty quickly is just have a bunch of people working underneath you doing jobs and you provide like the clientele, the equipment, the uh, transportation, vehicles, all that type of shit. My sock. Like everything else isn't bad enough. Look at this. There's holes in my sock. You can see it. A hole. Literally nobody cares. I know it's supposed to be like a goofy, uh, dramatic moment or something Bruh. but like who cares nobody cares it's a sock dude he's gonna draw out this whole story about how the tire got stolen and this is part of it it's like why are you trying to milk this whole thing you know i guess you're trying to keep a dwindling viewership in your chat waiting on edge you know i don't have to be here for that stream I can go watch one of the clips channels and then I can come back once I find an interesting moment and copy the link to your video and download it without giving you any views, without giving you anything. So it's just pathetic. Just get to the point, dude. Our car, get this, which is locked, secure, everything should be safe, is supported by a car jack. And a tire is missing. He like explains situations like I feel like I would when I was in like grade school when you first discovered. He something, definitely like, has the mind oh, of a child. Dad, you know, I found out that, you know, the penis is not supposed to go in my ass. It's supposed to go in my friend's ass. You know, <laughs> something like that, you know, where it's like he explains every Bro, what? detail. Not now with that the five. Thank you for making me consider a trade job. We'll definitely check story. out a plumber, electrician, and all. HVAC repair. Definitely like, want to be making on, that dude, money. Get to the point. Yeah, I mean, they're I great care. options, yeah, man, especially if you don't want to go through the a school. tire is not inside of your car. It's on your car. It's exposed. And anybody that has ever driven a car understands how a tire goes onto the car. So, yeah, it's not the most shocking thing in the entire world that a tire could be removed from the car, right? That happens all the time. I had tires replaced on my car six months ago. I know how that works. Phil, why don't you know how that works? The entire tire, not just the rubber. The entire yeah, I see Wings' point where it's like she's not actually parked in the lines of a parking lot. Because, like, see, if this is, like, the lines of a parking space... She's way too far over to the right and past the front line. So, yeah, I I agree with Wings, bro. This does look like bullshit. It doesn't look real. 100%. Entire tire has been removed. He doesn't even know what a wheel is. Yep, it looks like somebody, like, just took the fucking tire off to put the donut tire on. He literally doesn't know what a wheel is. <laughs> the entire tire, including the rubber. Yeah, that's implied, buddy. That's what a wheel is. Do you know what the metal part on the inside is called? I doubt it because you never call it that throughout the entire video. It's called a rim. I know that you're too busy f guesstimating. He's definitely just trying to fish for fucking donos. I'm wondering about the ideals of getting a rimmy. I'm aware, but we're talking about a different type of rim here. He's going to try and embellish cost as time goes on too about this whole situation and this is the image that wings is talking about where he thinks that she's parked incorrectly therefore implying that obviously if she was parked normally to go to work at the mall then this wouldn't be an issue but if she's parked abnormally it would imply that she was driving at some point and then the tire came off you know, she wouldn't park illegally to go to work, in theory. My whole thing is, at the bottom of the image, you can sort of see what looks like used to be a stripe line. And it might have faded away, you know, it happens all the time, especially at malls, because they don't have the funds to be able to support restriping an entire parking lot. And you can also sort of tell because it's lighter than the pavement adjacent to it, 
and it also looks like it's at a slightly higher elevation than the rest of it, implying that it hasn't been driven over consistently as the rest, and that's how parking lots work. You know, the striped areas will remain mostly intact. They won't crack and crumble as much as the areas that cars are going to predominantly be. So, I'm not certain I'm buying the whole idea that she ran off the road after a flat tire and had to park somewhere. Because to me, it sort of looks like she's in a parking spot. Obviously, there's not a ton of context, but that's my opinion. The value... But I think that's what Wings was saying. Is like her tire pops, so she pulled off into a random parking spot. Wheel is not equivalent to the value of a car jack. It is a very unfair exchange. And although I appreciate the fact that they actually left a car jack, all right, sadly, it is not a fair exchange. Yeah, why would they have, le like, why would they leave the car jack? That doesn't make any sense. That's just something to pull prints off of. Trey. Just another joke falling flat. I mean, that's what Phil's entire streams are. Oh, a, a tire costs more than a car jack. Yeah. It's like, dude, it's not, it, it's not funny. You know, what am I supposed to be laughing at? Yeah, Phil, what a keen observation you just made there. An entire tire assembly costs more than a plastic and or metal. He's just trying to play up the issue, I feel like. I don't even think it was stolen. Makes sense. Because, like, why would you... Because, like, what is their car? That thing looks cheap. Like, it looks like they've already hit something right there. See? Like, it looks like they've already had a fucking collision or something. I don't think this is an expensive car, so why would you steal that fucking tire of all things? Sadly, it is not a fair trade. Just another joke falling flat. I mean, that's what Phil's entire It's a Corolla? Are. Yeah, why would someone oh, bother the, the stealing an old Corolla? Than a car yeah, it's like, dude, it's not, it, it's not funny. You know, what am I supposed to be laughing at? Yeah, Phil, what a keen observation you just made there. An entire tire assembly costs more than a plastic and or metal <laughs> little hinge. That pushes the car up? Yeah, but how expensive do you really think a fucking 2015 Corolla Rim actually is, realistically? Wouldn't you steal it off, like, a Mercedes or something like that? Shocker. You really got me there, buddy. Mall I don't know, gets man. Involved, comes out, looks at the car, and the mall security basically says, well, we can't touch anything. We're not true investigators. We can't do anything here with that. You gotta call the police. You got to file a police report. That's how it's handled. And then once the police are involved, it's the police's job then to contact you and us. And when they contact us, they may ask us for information. Maybe I'm just uh, going to take a grandiose stance on this. Uh, maybe this is just my hashtag toxic masculinity preaching. But I can understand why Kat would think to go to the mall security to see if they could do something it doesn't make any logical sense because they're mall security but phil as the husband should have a more keen idea of well we probably have to call the police or do something of the sort the mall security guys are a bunch of non-ged dropouts who just hang out there you know for the 40 people that come every week so maybe that's just me uh Getting on top of my soapbox and trying to make myself look cool because I'm so hip and cool. But, you know, once again, Phil just proving that he is the toddler holding on to his mom's dress while she is getting in an altercation at the local Kroger over bread being 30 cents higher than it should be. The fact is, they took the whole wheel. So I need to get a spe specific wheel type for this car, which likely they probably don't even have something like that just sitting around in stock right probably so do already you're talking about that's going to be a pain in the butt right because like let's be real who is stealing one stock you know toyota corolla wheel wheel in the middle of the day yeah exactly it's not like he has like lincoln aviator wheels or like hellcat wheels or you know something that's that actually would get you money on like the aftermarket right 
This yep. point is the point that I think is the most intriguing and that Wings accurately brings up. Also, shout out to Wings for this because for once, his only other hobby outside of gaming comes to use and he knows a lot about cars. <laughs> Debatably. Don't ask about the salvage Mustang. Don't ask about it. But it's very odd that somebody who's stealing a tire would steal one tire and do it in broad daylight while she's at work. And leave the fucking jack, too. Why would you leave evidence behind? That makes no fucking sense. And I don't know where she works. I don't know if it's a strip mall or a regular mall. I don't know how many people are around, etc. But she drives, like, a Toyota Camry. So, like, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And the only scenario that really makes sense for this entire thing to me is somebody who is completely out of money, has no options, their car broke down somewhere, they got a flat tire. Maybe wherever it was. And maybe they got impounded, maybe they were able to get it back home, something like that. And ever since then, they don't have a spare, they don't have the money to get a new tire. They go out in public and see if they can find a Toyota Camry with the same rim size that they can steal and put it on their car. That is the only scenario that makes sense because if somebody's willing to steal a tire in broad daylight, why would they stop at one tire, <laughs> right? If they think that they can steal them to sell them or whatever, why would they only take one? And why yeah, would they exactly. take it from this car? You know, a Toyota Camry is literally the most generic vehicle on the road. So they're not going to be able to find a nicer car like Wings said to steal tires from that would actually be worth money. This is the only part that makes me say, hmm, maybe Wings is on to something here. Maybe he knows something that I don't. Because I don't want to go out there. Because, you know, I'm probably going to end up going out there myself to, to, to help handle it. You know, quite frankly, you know, Kat is kind of shaken about this, you know. She's shaken from having a tire stolen? You go out to your car, you have a whole missing freaking wheel. You're kind of just shaken up about it. And I want to get out there to help her with the whole situation, so I'm there with her. We can handle it together as a couple rather than just one person trying to figure it all out. Yeah, I'm really sure you're helping her out, buddy. I'm really sure. I'm really yeah, he has to call his fucking dad for car advice, bro. You're no, you are no fucking help. Spore hacker with the two, maybe his wife's boyfriend could buy the parts. Or maybe he's the one that took it in the first place. Sure. As soon as you guys got home, you didn't go straight to your stream to go talk about this. You definitely are trying to help her out. Also, the whole image of of DSP getting like an Uber or something to drive out there and then getting out to discuss this whole thing is really funny. It shouldn't be, but it really is. Just because like, I feel like it's just a completely emasculation of him. <laughs> you know, he can't pull up and understand anything. He doesn't know how to put on a tire. He doesn't know how to take off a tire. It's just like... The Am whole I good with cars? Fuck no. I'm good with money, so I can pay somebody to be good with my car, but no. I don't know shit about cars, bro. The whole thing is just a complete mess. So I walked in, and I said, I need five lug nuts for a 2017, you know, Toyota. And they went and looked and said, we have them. Okay? So I was handed a handful of lug nuts for a few bucks. All right, take that back. It was around $10. <gasps> All right. So this is good news. Maybe I can get this spare tire on myself, okay? So, oh God. I go back to the car. I pull the spare tire out. I, you know, start to line up the tire and everything. And he's wearing that stupid fucking fedora, too. Lined up. And I go to start put, to put the lug nuts on. This one, okay, this one's going on. This one's going, huh? Well, that's just my luck. They handed me a handful of lug nuts. Four of them are correct, and one of them is incorrect size. <laughs> so I got four out of five lug nuts that are correct, okay? It's just my luck. Good news is you can drive with four lug nuts instead of five. That's actually passable. He literally doesn't know how to tell a story. It's like I'm literally... You know, I, I just can't take it. You know, I'm snorting over here because I have to listen to this guy try and explain him buying lug nuts. Right? Bro, if you really want to steal the fucking tires off of my fucking Hyundai, go ahead. I have insurance. I don't really care. 
<laughs> like fuck, man. You'd there's a lot nicer cars around where I park, so you'd kind of be wasting your time. There's like Porsches. There's a couple uh, Range Rovers. Um, we got a few Escalades, uh, Navigators. So there's some nice cars. I think there's a like pretty high end Audi as well. I don't know what model it is, but. Yeah, we got some nice-ass cars where I live. So if you want to steal my Hyundai tires, go for it, man. Right? That's the story I have to listen to. And I also wanted to comment on him looking like a mafioso. His his viewer goals are so stupid. They're so childish. I hate them. The, uh, the wheel in stock. We don't have entire wheels. We have no tire. If we needed just the tire replaced, all right, that would have been fine. But... We need your whole thing. I order the whole wheel. He's like, so we got to order it. Now, the good so? news is, what's going on? People are saying things are going on that are racist and stuff. I'm not seeing it. I don't know what you mean. Hold on. Racism. Here's, here's Phil's actual wheel. They're $274.99 at this place for an OEM 17-inch <laughs> wheel. This is the exact wheel that Phil's And then probably like a what? $100 tire? You know, if you put that with a tire, let's say you got... I don't know how bad. Like Phil's you can buy tire pre-owned was, tires, but generally, if you replace a tire, you generally want to replace them in pairs because of uh, cornering. You don't want to have two different level of treads on on the uh, front or back of the car because you can actually because your tires move at different speeds when you're turning corners or like making lefts or rights and stuff like that. Um, so worst case scenario, I would say after taxes and labor. Five fifty, six hundred bucks. Yeah, and this fucking insurance will cover that. To replace everything. It's likely that Phil went somewhere. They don't have the right type of rim for him to use. That's possible. I also don't think he knows how tires work. I think he thinks that they come in like a manufactured assembly, and that they don't put the rubber around the actual rim. <laughs> That's my own personal opinion. I don't think he understands how it works. Second off, Wings estimates that it's probably like five, six hundred, six hundred fifty bucks, something like that. But Phil's probably going to go to the first store. He's going to go to some chain store. He's going to get ripped off. So his estimate probably won't be too far off. Something came up because, just to let you know, it's going to be. Just about under seven hundred dollars, just under, I believe. Actually, he didn't give me the. Th That's nothing. Seven hundred bucks. That's like buying a fucking console, dude. That's like. And your insurance is gonna cover most of that anyway. Final token. I think it was six hundred and change. Unless he has shitty fucking insurance, which I could see. It's tax out here. Ta like if this happened to me, man, my insurance company would be like, oh yeah. We'll cover it. Like, maybe they would make me pay, like, a $100 deductible or some shit like that. Just to make sure it wasn't me who stole it. But it's like, bruh. They would not even fucking care. They'd be like, alright, yeah, we'll pay it. Tax is high. It's like 10% or something. Y'all hear him? Did y'all hear that? Or did it not pick up? <laughs> He's like crying in his sleep, man. Like, <laughs> so fucking pathetic. Like that. Okay. So, yeah. Now, here's the thing. I could have looked around. What, what I was being told by certain people, for example, when I went to the car place, I bought the lug nuts. The guy was like, if you really want to save money, you should go to like scrap yards. And you should be fishing out there for tires at scrap yards. That's what, you know what I mean? Um, do you really think I have time to go from scrap yard to scrap yard looking for a wheel for my car? I don't understand. It takes three minutes to call a fucking scrap yard and be like, hey, do you have a rim for a 2017 Toyota Corolla? Oh, you do? Thanks. Stan Phil's whole thing about, I don't have time to do anything. What do you mean? I don't have any time. You literally play video games for a living, bro. You have all the time in the world. He literally streams 
during this entire time for like an hour a little bit over an hour and then complains that he has lost a day to be able to do streaming or whatever and it's like i know he streams twice a day but this dude if he really wanted to could be working for like 12 to 14 hours a day he really could if he wanted to because the videos he posts are no effort garbage that honestly his entire archive of videos should just be wiped from the internet because it's like i don't know why youtube would be like yeah you know he just streamed all this content and then cut up his stream and then posted that while also posting his stream it's like he's just duplicating his content like that should just throw it all away throw that trash away it doesn't make air quote on demand videos anymore at the very least though the number he says is pretty similar to what wings says and it leads me to believe that he actually went somewhere to get a tire the thing is he would have to get two tires and a rim because as wings stated you need to replace two tires at a time front and back because you can't have uneven treads when you're driving uh, either in the front or the back that will lead to issues so maybe that's factor in maybe he hasn't talked about that but I feel like he would I feel like he'd be like I have to get two whole tires I have to get two tires in, in a rim job it's preposterous I don't know what to do I need more money you know I feel like he would say that give me money give me money just a just something to to really tantalize your taint with a little bit by the way, I'm just going to ban every single idiotic person who says something dumb in the chat right now. I swear to God, you are the biggest fucking morons if you think you're going to come Morons. Tonight, and you're going to say dumb shit in my chat. It is an instant fucking ban the moment you say something stupid. Test me on it. I dare you. Ooh. Ban, ban, <laughs> ban, ban, ban. Gone. Forever. He was like, you want a picture of it? Well, actually, he didn't even ask. He just sent it unsolicited. He sent me a picture of the rainbow trout that he caught this morning down at the park. I was like, that's nice. It's a nice fish, by the way. It's a beautiful fish. God forbid his dad shares something positive with him. I have no idea what it had to do with anything or why he sent, felt like he had to send me a picture of it while all this was going on, but he did. He sent me a... God forbid his dad shares something positive with him. A rainbow trout. What do you guys think? You like the look of that trout? Aw, is your dad, who is probably experiencing mental decline, trying to share a nice moment with you? Your dad probably understands the fact, oh, you know, Phil's wife having her tires stolen. That sucks, but that's really not big of a deal. Hey, why don't I try and connect with my son? Hey, son, here's what I was doing today. You want to see what I was able to do? Look, I was able to catch a fish. You know, instead, Phil is the most narcissistic piece of garbage out there. He's what does like, it have to do with me, man? Has to be on me. What does this have to do with anything? You're sharing your day with your dad. Your dad's sharing his day with you. That's how conversations work, buddy. But he doesn't care because he just wants sympathy. He wants everybody to feel bad for him because he's the victim 24-7. Just a pathetic little manlet, dude. If you guys want to go longer and chat it up for, you know, I'll, I'll do Q&A and hang out with you guys if you really want me to. That's cool with me if that's if you want to. But uh, me, 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 it's me, too me, late me. now to really do any. any I mean, is it play. any surprise? He literally bans people from his fucking chat for refusing to talk about him. Like if they are talking about something unrelated to him or the game he's playing, he fucking bans them. Like he has to be the fucking center of attention, bro. It's just it's sad. You know, it kind of sucks. I lost an hour of Zelda, and I lost tonight's an hour Fantasy of stream. Zelda. Back streams now, when I'm trying to make oh advancement in the games I'm playing and finish them up before Street Fighter Six comes out. This absolutely puts me back, right? A whole hour, guys. He lost an hour, guys. I lost an hour of Zelda. This. It's not like you've ever seen a streamer out there that streamed for 24 hours at a time, or 10 hours at a time, or 6 hours at a time, or 4 hours. Dude, if DSP was my child, I'd be like, son, the inheritance is going to fucking charity. Because your fucking pathetic ass does not deserve my hard work. At a time, I can keep going. You're just going to stream for an hour and then just say, oh, I need money, but I'm going to get off. Uh, hello, this is your job. <laughs> you 
you know, I watched a video from uh, Rudy over at Alpha Investments recently talking about... I mean, it's really sad, bro, but he probably is counting down the days until his parents dies so he gets their fucking money and can pay off his debts. Like, DSP strikes me as that type of dude. Well, whether or not you should open a card... Rudy over at Alpha Investments recently. Alpha Investments, bro. Talk about a crossover. Trading card investing in DSP troll content, man. This guy and I have very similar tastes. What the fuck? So what are you talking about? Whether or not you should open a card shop. And he talked about at the very end that it's essential that you understand you, once you become the owner, there are no off days. So Phil is the owner of his job. He owns his channel, and that's his income. Therefore, he doesn't have time to take time off, right? He is constantly on the grind, or it should be. But he treats it as a charity, as usual. So he's just going to pout and go offline and then come back and say, I don't have any money to get any of this stuff. Wah! You know, it's just pathetic. But with that patheticness... <laughs> But Phil's not running a business, that's the problem, because Phil doesn't produce anything that generates revenue. Phil solely relies on other people giving him money for zero fucking reason. Like, dude, the fact that anyone gets money from donations on stream is not a fucking business. Like, that's just straight up like charity bro like it's not he's not producing anything like his content doesn't generate ad revenue anymore like that's something you could claim as a business you're producing entertainment that generates latent revenue just from people watching it stream donations are not like business it's like basically like people wanting to give you like a fucking tip or something it has nothing to do with, like, business. DSP does not operate a business. He operates a fucking 10 cup on the corner and calls it a business. I don't know, man. It's pretty fucking sad. Comes an alpha male, like me. <laughs> I hate that. I can't believe I just said I'm an alpha male. How pathetic. I'm worse than Phil. That's right. I'm worse. Either way... I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. I should I sub to this guy's guy. channel. He's in the trading card scene as well, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> That's funny. I was not expecting to hear anything about fucking uh, alpha investments. It's, it's kind of ironic. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and hop off. It's fucking uh, 3 o'clock for me, and I probably should get some sleep. So I hope you all have a wonderful... What is? Oh, shit, it's Tuesday tomorrow. It's not Monday. Fuck. Long weekend. Let's go. But anyway, guys, have a great day tomorrow. Big ups to everybody in the chat. Really appreciate all the support, as always. And I will talk to you all later. Peace out, everybody.